Ben Hatchett, Let's Be Real TV, sponsored by Terrace Cole. Welcome to this week, Let's Be Real with me, Ben Hatchett. I'm here with a special, special guest, Dante Hawkins. Do you know what I mean? Spurs boy, this meeting definitely had to be done. Do you know what I mean? Absolute Spurs, football oogaloo. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But I'm so, so. Dante, what's yeah. happening, my bro? Listen, right, thank you for coming here today. Thank you for meeting. Sweet, mate. So let's start like. Let's, for people that don't know you, or people that do know, let's, let's start from the beginning, man. Where did you grow up? Yeah, I grew up around uh, Labrick Grove, West London, um, right where, next to where Grenfell Tower happened, where Grenfell Tower burnt down. Um, with my mum, I grew up with my mum, she, she comes from a Jamaican background. It's a strong Jamaican community in, um, in Labrick Grove. It's the first place where sort of the Caribbean community come over from um, like back in the day during the wind march and stuff like that. And I uh, just grew up with her, and my, my older sister at first, and I've got two little younger, uh, my younger brother and sister that come along. But um, there's a lot of gang violence around there, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of stabbings, shootings. Um, you grew up around that? Heavily involved in stuff like that. And um, obviously there's about numerous incidents that went on that like, obviously we'll talk about mm. later. But, um, but yeah, and then um, that, well, my, that was on my, on my mum's side. Obviously we grew up around and my dad was... Um, was obviously white, and his bro- he was a famous rock star, and his brother was a, was a football hooligan at Tottenham, Hotspur, Tottenham, Hotspur, Tottenham. and uh, that's how I got into the whole football scene. Was all your family Tottenham? Was they all Tottenham? Everyone was Tottenham, but my uncle was that di- was that diehard. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah and he he, uh, he uh, took me to my first game when I was a little kid, and that. What and was then, the f- what was the first game you went to? Can you remember? The first game I can remember was Wimbledon at home, but the first game I actually went to a Tottenham Arsenal reserves, and I ran on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. So that was probably the start of. The start, of it. <laughs> the start of it all, do you know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, like I just I, I just I just loved Tottenham from the start from when I was a kid. I was just I was obsessed with it, like. And then mm-hmm. I remember like as I got a bit older, I think I got to like 13, 14, and like, I just remember I stopped watching the game as much. I started just being fixated with the away fans, and like get like getting well, we always used to lose back then, so I was just getting the arm like we'd be two, three nil down like. And I, I wanna, remember them days, yeah. bro. I remember them days, didn't <laughs> I? Mean, like, yeah. And I just wanted, like, I was, by the time I was at like, 14, I just wanted to get out, just get on the get outside, because we used to be in the park lane at, at Tottenham. So I used to just want to get on the park lane. It's just, like, if you weren't really, if you weren't really even a football hooligan, if you just used to go and used to be a bit, want to get involved, you could always go to that little park lane bit where the away fans used to come outside, and you, you have a little, te- you could have a little tear up if you wanted to. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the way just way up around side there, see what was happening. Not fully involved with the lads, but like like on the on the outskirts of it and yeah, this used to mm-hmm. this used to go off there. I remember one I remember one game in particular, I was playing Man United and um I think we lost something like four one, we got battered by them anyway. Then and uh come outside the away and then I was sort of same thing, I was looking for a bit of trouble there. And um see this like he must have been about sixty or sixty year old, had grey hair, flipping ponytail and um Made this guy's Man United's come out, the whole Man United ends coming out. This one grey geese just steamed past the old build straight into the Man United event and steamed into their gate and started having it with all of them at the gate. I thought, yeah, that's the, that, he's a guy still, he's on job, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, but um, that, that, that was a little spot, especially for like just normal fans, like but not like Barmy fans who weren't popping roll with a firm. That was a good place where you could just go and, you know what I mean? That's sort of how. Be around uh, like your own kind yeah. of Man Spurs. And that was a good place to also, as, as you got older, to meet people who wanted to get involved as well. Like, you know, like as you started getting more more involved, trying to make your own little mob. Those are the sort of places where you can meet new new people and try and yeah. get them on board. Do you know what I mean? So where you said you grew up, obviously you grew up around Grove, and there was a lot of gang activity and all that. Yeah. Lot. Obviously, so did, was, did you ever get involved in that? Was it? Was yeah. So obviously, my sister, my, si- my sister uh, was a bit older than me. She was. Um, she had a few boyfriends who were like one or two boyfriends that were like heavily involved in that sort of stuff. So that's how I started getting involved in that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, like, there was loads of different in- incidences, like, but quite a few of my good, good pals were, like, um, quite well-known gang members around, especially around Labrick Grove. And we, uh, there used to be a quite an ongoing war with Shepherd's Bush, which is, like, just up the road. It's, it's still, like another part of West London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a few instances. There was one, one time. There was an estate called Becker in Shepherd's Bush, and um, that was where they, like, the main estate where all their buds come from. There's one, I remember one week particular, they kept coming over here to Labour Grove on like loads of them on bikes and just catching people out, you know, like uh, chilling out of the front of the estate or wherever they'd come, like 40, 30, 40 handed, and it was like moving, like robbing people or stabbing people, and then so everyone had enough and went, went, went over there and 
whatever happened happened over there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, did but, it ever happen with you? Did you ever get caught? On your um, do you know what? I'll tell you what. That, that particular time on Halloween, it was Halloween um, that year, and I think it was that bonfire. Now one of them nights, one of them like, where, where there was a little, there was an event down at Maxilla, which is just around the corner from from where we are, and um, like I was, I was, <clears throat> there was, there was, there was firework night. So all the fireworks were going off, coming down St. Mark's Road, and like I've seen about 20, 25, 30 of them. And yeah. I'm on my own on my bike and sitting there thinking, this is on top. Like, oh, no. But I kept sort of like carrying on riding. And then. Um, How old were you? How old were you? I about 16, max 15. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I'm, I thought this is it. I'm, like, there was nowhere for me to go. It was a long road. It was like. So I just carried on skating past them, just like normal. And then, like, don't think none of them knew I was. So like, then, then my mate come out of his house. At that exact time, and then shouted out my name, and then like fucking, he was like, like for me to stop, and I'm thinking, oh please, and he shouted out my name. So obviously they will now turn around. They flocked on me. I'm literally like, they about ten of them like turn on bikes, ch chase me down into through the estate, and I just got onto the estate where my nan lived, which is on on a Roots Drive signs. Luckily, a few of the boys were on the estate. They come, they flocked on them, and then my mum, my mum and my sister, and everyone come out of the house as well, going mad, and yeah. they just skirted off. But I was about probably, I reckon, if I had about thirty seconds longer to go, that would have been, yeah, that would have been me. Died. Yeah, you think that would have been definitely one hundred percent, yeah, million percent. It was close. It was a close call. So, as I made feel, man, did that not put you off? Did that not? How well, did that make you feel the nine like? Was, you, was it more of a young like, like do you know, know it's it just normal isn't it like every week something was happening yeah it's just normal do you know what I'm saying like you know like when, when you got around when you got around these man it's just it's, it's going like when you're going to school it's, it's ag going to school do you know what I mean you, you go to school certain times if you go to school in a different area you'd have to go through that area so people will be out rob, robbing each other for their phones and that so it's just survival of the fittest isn't it yeah so, do you know what I mean it's just what was school like for you then bro? how did how did you carry um, yourself in school I was alright in school, do you know, I was quite I was quite articulate in school and clever, do you know what I mean? And then um but um I was I got uh, I got kicked out. I went to I went to a school called Cardinal Vaughan, which was in um, Holland Park. And that's why I had a bit more bit more ag than other people because the school that I went to when my mum got me in there, it was um you had to go like you had to be quite smart, you had to do like a test to get in there. But obviously everyone knew the school was quite you had to be clever to go in there, like the, the uniform was a bit bit nerdy, you know what I mean? And the, the yeah. big rucksack that was like, it just, it just, you just look like a cunt. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like the rucksack was massive. Yeah. I just had a target. It was like, please come and try and rob me. Might as well an arrow above your head, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, it's agony. I'm telling you, like, fuck it, every day, yeah, people be coming back to the school with pop noses, yeah. people trying to rob them. Like, it was like, it was just like, it was like letting fucking, it was like letting lambs out to the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then um, there was another squad of the road called, uh, there's another squad of the road called Holland Park. Which is like all the boys in Holland Park was all the boys from the manor went to. Like it was just all the, they they went with all their own clothes. They're just all on on, on doing bits on road, like just active. Yeah. So they, they used to just like there was just like some piranhas like around round round this squad, these all like little goldfish and they just rubber man coming out of them. Just, but um obviously wearing that uniform, you had to you had to be like fucking you had to sort of get I've got a few scraps me and my mate, because there's another one of my pals from from around there. A few scraps just to make people know that obviously that ain't happening. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So they're coming past trying to pat your pockets down. It's like, nah, bro, not today. Do you know what I mean? But things like that, they just sort of like, it's toughen you up and it? it's just yeah. life experiences. But yeah. Can you remember the first time you had a fight? What, a football? No, no, in gym, in life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The time that I started realising that I could be violent and it could give me power was when I actually got turned over. A mate of mine had a time, no longer a mate after this, but he, um, some bird had said something, I thought it was complete bollocks, but said that I had said something about him and he'd come into the block and he's like, I want to have a strain over you. And these times, I, I'm, these times I weren't really even interested in fighting, he's just my power in it, do you know yeah. what I mean? How old is this boy? About 15. 15, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, no, I'm not fighting now. So anyway, so he's like, look, come outside the block. So I come outside, I'm chanting to him and he just started weighing, weighing me in. Yeah. So I'm holding, like, blocking him, saying, like, no, I'm not fighting now. But yeah, he, he, he off on a job on me, yeah, that fucking, and then um, went back home with my mum and my sister and that was like, you some sort of, like, cunt, do you know what I mean? Are you going to let someone do this to you? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you've been raised for that, for, that, for that to happen, do you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I thought you were double shit, do you know what I'm saying? So I was like, fucking hell, so that, like, and then my sister was going out with this fella called um, El Nino, his name's Micros, and um, he was like a main, main bod round, 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 got a still mates with him to this day. Like a known like yeah. a known Yeah, he was like one of the main ones out of a gang called, um, Cop, like it was called Cold Hearted at the time. One of the, like, the original gangs round here that obviously now you've got, you've got like uh, other gangs that have formed from there, like CGM, um, which Digger D, I don't know if you've heard that rapper. He, yeah, he, Digger he, yeah, D, yeah, that's yeah, his, yeah. That's his kick, so um, 
they were formed from that original, like they're they're the original sort of black black gang members around around here. Then off of that, that's come the what's what's evolved. So it's like new generation, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, anyway, so he was like the main member, but like, one of the main like, top members of that of that gang, and um, he had a couple younger brothers. So like the younger brothers come out, went like come out and said, "Oh look, we'll, we'll go and look for this geezer." So I've gone looking for a minute. Me and him have had a, 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 now had a strict and straight on this. They have done him. He's run off this fella, and I was like, "Yeah, do you know what? I, I, I enjoyed that. I like that. Do you know what I mean?" I don't know you feel. Yeah, I, mean, powerful, you mean, yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? And he ran off, and I was like, "Yeah, do you know what? I can, like, this is a, this is this is this is this is me. Do you know what I'm saying? This is yeah. this is a bit of me. Do you know what I'm saying?" And um, yeah, and then from there, just yeah, just started enjoying enjoying it. Do you know what I mean? And then obviously, so around that time as well, I started getting more heavily involved with the football. And it, that started like when I was about sixteen, and that just. I just that was just that was just like um, bit, it was more watered down to be fair. The violence on the, on the manor was a bit more was a bit more brutal because it was it was a bit more like we- more weapons involved and yeah. do you know what I mean? With the football, so and, so when I did how to go from that sort of like street life going over into the football, well, <laughs> how did the transition sort of happen? And I... yeah, so obviously I don't know it was all it was all around it was all around when I was around the age of sixteen. Like there was a few incidents that happened. So my, one of my pals got shot dead when I was about 15, 16 Jeez. and that's at the point I was going to football more it's just everything the, my, I think my old, my old man died at that point and everything all the violence just escalated a little bit do you know what I mean so we had an incident with another gang that come down to um, uh, Labour Grove there was a radio station down at Labour Grove called uh, God, I keep pointing at it but, like the camera people know. <laughs> 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 we're, we're, so, in, we're so in, in Labour Grove really it's, you know what I mean it's, it's only up in there around the corner stop throw away yeah um yeah, so there was an incident that occurred at the, at the radio station. Um, flipping this gang, like this gang, come down and they had they had like they had like radio slots. I can't remember what were you call them, but slots of times when they were on the radio. There was this little phone from um, from West Kensington, which is like uh, about ten minutes, fifteen minutes drive from Labour Grove. It's just uh, by Chelsea's ground. Coincidentally, <laughs> oh, <he's>, uh, <laughs> get the, get that one in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Flipping. Anyway, they come down and they was they was doing it doing a little radio station and I think a couple of I think if I remember rightly a couple of my boys were were down there because it was like our local station just spitting or whatever then and they ended up having a little clash and um a few like a few things that got said and I think from what I from what I can remember the other the phone from West Kensington had kind of been fucked off out of there sort of thing and then so a week later they've come back now and they've come back tooled up this time they've all got like machetes. Fucking nice baseball bats, or whatever, whatever yeah. tools they had. I can't remember exactly because it was, like, like, it was all a bit of a blur, like, but they was yeah. tooled up. I just remember tools glistening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, so they're, they're on the radio station now. They're going, they're calling out, so, so, saying, like, suck your mum to this one, to that one, all, all, all my pals. Yeah. So, like, we're, I'm listening at home, I'm on the radio station thinking, fucking you know, all, like, they can't come around here saying that. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I was sitting on, the, on, on listening and I've rung up my pals, I'm like, yo, listen, have you, have you, have you heard these, these pods on the radio? They're like, nah, nah, nah. So I'm like, what's that? Like, like, Bang on now, and listen. So they're repeatedly saying, "Fuck, just trying to draw us out, down it." Yeah. So anyway, so we've all got mobbed up. I remember we went to a state called Edward Woods. All got mobbed up in Edward Woods. There's about four or five carloads of us all tooled up. So like samurai swords, fucking samurai swords. Yeah. I can't Fuck. remember. There was all, all sorts of weapons, like, but not no guns, but just tools and knives and whatever, and bats and koshes or whatever. Whatever weapons are there, there's everyone was tooled up to the eyeballs. Anyway, so we drove down there, and it's like it's the gates locked on on the, on the radio station. It's like to get into this, locked. I just remember everyone trying to climb over, and then, um, and I think, I can't remember why, why, but the door opened of, of the gate, and when the doors opened, a load of them were jumped over, and a couple of them had jumped onto the traveller side, which is next door, which caused problems afterwards as well with them. Um, they've jumped onto the traveller sites for whatever reason to try and get away, because it's, it's like, the radio station is on like a, um, you know them box things that you used to, when you say, uh, when they go on ships, shipping boxes, like cargo boxes, oh, yeah, yeah, the massive yeah, 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 ones, the metal yeah. ones. It's inside one of them. So obviously they've jumped on top of that and then jumped onto the like radio station, jumped onto the A4, A440 A4 across the top. And then like um, a few of them have run into a car. Anyway, we ended up getting fucking chived up. Like a few of them have got stabbed up. Their main geezer, he's inside his BMW now and he's been stabbed to bits. My, my mate Pud, he's got a samurai sword and he's just, he's just, pre- he's dead now. Oh, rest, his, rest his soul. He's, um, He's stabbing his geezer up through 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 the through the BMW window, but repeatedly. Like, oh, I remember being in front of the BMW, thinking, "You see this? You yeah, yeah." I'm thinking, "When's he gonna? I'm thinking, when's he gonna stop?" We're all like, G- "He's prepped in him," but like, I'm talking like fifty, like, repeated that like, fifty, sixty times. Oh, he's gone through his window, bang, bang, bang. But like, obviously, where it's a sword, it's just prepping, so it's not. He ain't fully plunging him, 
he's like preps you like when I buy mum in preps you know that means he's in like when he's just yeah. the tips go in and he's just tips in them up bap 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 and uh, the geezer's getting done badly and I thought fucking we're, we're, we're all going to be fucked here but anyway we carried on doing them windows got done on the car I, I um, they was trying to get out and my mate said oh fuck, block them in so I tried to block them in with my car so they couldn't get away and um, anyway they managed to hit past my car and they've zoomed out and got away and I think the geezer was uh, from what I can remember he was in like intensive not intensive care um his coma or whatever, he was fucked anyway. Oh, like, the yeah. fellow was fucked, he was, he, he was in hospital for a while. Then he's come back about a year, two years later, seen my mate at a, a nightclub, in a, a egg club in King's Cross, gone inside the gaff. I weren't there at this particular incident, the, the, the King's Cross incident. He's gone inside the gaff and, and said, oh, look, fucking, uh, do you remember me? Do, do, do. My mate, yes, I remember you. Like, don't fuck, fuck off, I'll do you again. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the geezer's gone out of street, cool come back, go back in the gaff with a, with a penguin and fucking ironed him out in, on the dance floor like five times. Shot him five times. Shot him five times? Yeah, killed him. Yeah, he was only 17. 17? Yeah, so he was young at the time, do you know what I'm saying? So, and that all started, in, in essence, from a bit of radio station. Just from like, literally just yeah, people it's escalated. digging people out. Uh, oh, but, um, but yeah, that that happened. That, that, that sort of like, um, I don't know, things like that kind of stay with you a bit, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even the fact of me listening to the radio station, that, I've, oh, that sometimes plays my mind a bit, do you know what I'm saying? Like when I was listening to the radio station, making a phone call to the lads and that, all those incidences led, led up to, yeah. to to that incident, do you know it's what I mean? that ripple effect, yeah. yeah. I talk a lot about that, yeah. that one action, one saying, just yeah. the, the, the domino effect, the yeah. ripple effect that I mean? can have, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. No, I'll, so. Share, this, I'll share the same experience. We, we did attempt to escape yeah. and people got took hostage. And after that, two people died after that. Yeah. We both were in prison, both of had, had an, um, one had an overdose yeah. and the other one got stabbed to death. Yeah. And I think because all because when I made that decision, we're yeah. the key, let's try and escape. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I know what you're saying, yeah. oh, I can relate to it. It's yeah. like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's that ongoing. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's fucking mad, isn't it? It's yeah. like, you said, it's, well, and then the same if they didn't go to the radio station saying that, it's yeah. just, it's, it's, it's just that ongoing it is. sort of... Yeah. My mate Pudgy, he's game as arseholes, like he's game as anything, like game, one of the gamest kids I've ever cut, come across in my life. Yeah. Like, and he lived by that, and he, you know what I mean? Like, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, didn't it? Mm. So, but he was, he, was, he was super game. And I always say to these people, you know, like, a lot of the time, not to try and preach, but you know, like, if everyone's doing these things, anyone can shoot someone or stab someone. Anyone can be as game as you like, but where does it lead to after that? Do you know what I mean? Like, can you handle your bit of porridge? Mm. Can you, do you know what I mean? Like, or the other end of the things, you're, you're going to get ironed out back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, 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 that's why I'm yeah. doing all this stuff now, just yeah. to show the kids and all that now. Yeah. Like, I did 10 years behind the fucking door, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This game ain't a life. You've yeah. got a lot of kids now getting into, like, you're saying, this yeah. music and all that, yeah. talking and living it. Yeah. Just talking about it and then just yeah. living it. Yeah. And when it, when, when it, and it ain't like the films, yeah. and it ain't like all yeah. this, bro. You know, I mean, that's the, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. You know, like when you explain to people, you sound like you're like, I sound like I'm getting old now, whatever. Because <laughs> I remember people telling me stuff. And I'm like, oh, whatever, mate. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? You're not really taking it in, but like, but like when you're done, a, like when you're done, like when you're done the block and that, like, doing some time down the block, and you're doing like over a month or something down the block, or however yeah. long you're doing down the block, then you know, like. That this is the other flip to side to the queen, and they don't show none of that in rap videos. Nah. They don't show none of that when you're bugging out like the door going, "Come on, you fucking cunt! I'll yeah. fucking do the lot of you." You know, like Ed Button. When the muffies are coming in yeah. with the shields and everybody yeah. in there, yeah, yeah, they're not seeing that in the yeah. Greek style. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not seeing that. No, I bet they fucking come with you with the shields a few yeah. times. I don't know. They even trying to check shit. They was off a bit. They didn't really want to come in the cell because I was like, "Oh, fucking the first one that comes in, I'm gonna strangle you to death." And they was all fucking. They was off. Half worried about fucking <laughs> coming in because I was like, I just said to him, do you know what it is? I said to him, I'm, I've committed, like, if you're not coming on me, like, the, like do you know what I mean? You're, yeah. gonna have a, you're gonna have your hands on it. On, 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 it's got it off, it's got it off, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and he decided to try and talk, talk, talk to me, talk me, talk me out of it. But you know what it is? Sometimes, so when I was down there, sometimes I'd, I'd go through days there, like, and the fucking, I'd see certain bods kicking off and they'd get what they want, they'd get out of there or they'd get. Whatever. Yeah. When I was just keeping quiet for so long periods of time, I think, no, they take, the more you keep quiet, the more you get forgotten about. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, isn't it? It like, is, yeah. <laughs> I did roof protests and everything, yeah. bro. I, mean, I was on top of the roof ripping roofs off for that, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hence, I've got fucking section, but anyway, yeah. aren't they? <laughs> yeah, no, they take their piss, though, yeah. See, once, once they start taking their piss, it's, it's, it's a lot, do you know what I'm saying? So, you say you was in the block then, so obviously you went to prison. Yeah. What's the story behind that going to prison? Why? So, I went to prison, I've been to prison twice. Tw tw Three times, but twice. But one was a little recall and for something. What was the first time? The what first was time was for football. I got done for. Um, I got done for a few things. I got done for that uh, for Tottenham Brighton, where it was Aberdeen Brighton. All my little lot was banned, so Aberdeen were playing Brighton, and Tottenham got a link with Aberdeen. 
from back in the day. Like, I don't know, I, I think it stems from a few Aberdeen fellas were working in London and they started going Spurs, whatever, fucking. They had a little firm called the ASC Aberdeen Soccer Casuals. And um, anyway, they was they was playing down at um, down in Brighton and it was summertime, pre-season friendly. We're like, yeah, we'll do something like that. Yeah. So we all pretended we was going on the stag do. I've arranged the whole thing and I'm like, listen, we'll go down in, 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 in four different groups. So we come from four different stations in London. So we weren't like coming 100 handed. So the proper so, plans. So yeah, so it's like 25, 25, 25 like, from different locations. So there's what, 100 of you? Around like 80 to 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and we split up and then fucking, we had a mob coming from Shippers Bush, which is around there, which is obviously my little lot. Then we had another lot from coming from Central and then another, whatever, whatever, many, whatever stations we could get to there, we, we went by. Croydon, I think, was another route you could go. And then um, come out of the station and obviously they, they had like football officers on the station. When they see us, they absolutely fight. They was like, no, not these. No. <laughs> they knew what time it was, you know what I mean? So we walked down, we walked down and we was like, look, we're not coming for, we're coming for a stag do. Like, we don't support none of these teams. Da, da, da. Mm. So we're walking down. Just went to the Weatherspoons and um, having a few drinks, and then gone to, like a few of us wanted to go to the game because I hadn't been to a game for years. I was banned for like these, these times. I was like banned for like four or five years. Oh. So I was like, "Fuck it, I want to go to the game." Like fucking. So a few of us had gone to the game. Some people have stayed in the town centre, and this what did. And this in Brighton. This is yeah, in Brighton. This is in Brighton. Yeah. And their old ground. Like, yeah. It's all scaffold, and they didn't know when to. They didn't know who to follow. So like obviously they followed me and a few others, gone to the game, left the game. Now these times we left early. Walking out of Brighton Station and um, flipping, as we come out of the station, the old people are on us, they're following us now. Just by a stroke of luck, so it might have, I don't know if it was a stroke of luck, but it was for that, for that particular day. A uh, car's crashed, so the friends who are following us now have had to stop. Yeah. Like, see you later, <laughs> slipped out, slipped off. We've got, and a few of the boys were on some estate called the Albion Estate or something, they had a pub called the Albion Inn, so we're at this Albion Inn. And, um, and we're on this, at this bruiser, and there's about 16, 17 of us, but there's like, we've got like 80 to 100 geezers there. So like, I'm ringing up the boys, I'm saying, listen, I'm going to call it on with them. Like, what are you saying? So did you know, did you know the Brighton firm? I know the Brighton firm, you know yeah, the yeah, firm, yeah. Firm. yeah. For a while, like, there was a little young, they had quite a few young boys, they was up for it though, like, do you know what I mean? I think they used to go to England quite a bit, and um, so I'm ringing, I'm ringing, ringing around my lot, and I like, I saw us, look, I'm going to ring, call it on with them, like, that, hurry up and get it, do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I've rung Brighton up now. I'm like, yo, look, we're fucking, we're here. Do you know what I'm saying? We're on this estate. I said, I've had a look. There's no cameras about. I said, we're not saying like, do you want it or what? And like, they've gone like, they've, they've said to me, yeah, listen, of course you want it. Like, there's like, we're around the corner. <laughs> I'm like, there's, I was like, yeah, I've heard it all before, but I heard Chelsea, West Ham, all these teams say, oh, look, yeah, yeah, we're here, we're here. They're just sending you on some wild goose chase. Nine oh, yeah. times out of ten, it doesn't even happen. So when they said, oh, we're here, so I rang up the boys, I said, listen, they reckon they're five minutes away. Like, hurry up and get in now. They're like, the boys are like taking their time and, and other bruises. No one's turned up. So that fucking, I sent a little scout out to have a look. He's gone down the end of the road. When well, I say scout, he probably won't be happy with me saying that. I sent my, my mate went down. <laughs> went down the road. <laughs> went, my mate went down the road, yeah. He's gone to the end of the road and he's literally come back flapping like an excited fucking child just going up a Christmas but He's like, there we there we So I'm like, what? Like, yeah, so we come outside. Now, the how are you feeling now? When he's mate, saying, like, he's like, nine times yeah. out of ten, it's a flop. Mate, I, was a you know, I was like, right, what they fucking, right, I, didn't, like, I didn't know much about them, innit? Yeah. I, just, I just knew they was up for it. Like, I didn't know much about them. And I thought, right, you know what? Like, we're Tottenham in, like, not to sound big but like, these times, like, 90s, 2000s, we was the governors, like, we was, un- like, we was not untouchable, we was, no one's untouchable, but we was doing bits. Yeah. We were, if anyone wants to admit it or not, yeah, we was, we was doing bits. West Ham, Chelsea, Arsenal, we was turning them over. Whether they, like, they, like, they always try fucking dig, like, dig Tottenham out on, on films or whatever. But I'm telling you now, yeah, I'm, I ain't been turned over, and I've been at every major out it's been at. So, take from that where you want to take it do you know what I mean like I, I ain't like no one's touched me do you know what I'm saying and fucking I've been at most of the most of the big rides that we've had so I, I ain't gonna try and sit here and big tot them up if they weren't doing if they weren't to make the domain boys I, I particularly think we was, we was the best in the country like and that ain't just me being biased that's me giving my honest opinion mm. like like I don't think no one can come near us on our day when we're out properly. No one can come near us, and that's the that's the honest truth. When we start say it, sitting there saying it, sound like an idiot mm. on 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 a, on a TV show. So so anyway, so I thought they're not going to turn up. It's us, like a bit of arrogance about it. Yeah. But then you forget that like like these some of these teams they don't know you from Adam. Anyway, they've come around, there's about 50, 60 of them, and they're like, they're fucking bang up for it at the end of the 50, road. 50, 60 of them? Yeah, there's about and 17 of them. How many was of you now? 17. 17 of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Where's everyone else then? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So it was a good 17, to be fair. Yeah. It, was a, it was a, well, yeah, it was a good 17. And uh, we come down the road, running down the road, and um, 
Like, as we got to the end of the road, bang, they're there, and fucking, there's like a, it's like, it's like there was a force field in front of us. Stop, everyone just stopped, bang, bang, bang. Like, they're like 10 metres in front of us, where, and it's just, everyone's just going, come on, like, bang, and it's just, anyway, it's just gone off, like, when yeah. I tell you, like, my mate, and my mate, Danny, um, he, he he don't come no more. He's a, he's he's got he's, he's got a a, a a good job and that. His missus and that and that. He's my best pal. He's like my right hand man. Yeah. And um, he had a I remember he had a pool cue from the bruiser. And uh, <laughs> he's the guy the pool cue. Yeah. Come <laughs> running down the road, it's pool cue. Yeah. And the geezer's got the geezer's got to put the pool cue down and, and fight me like a fucking man. Yeah. <laughs> so Danny's gone fucking coming in. Danny's gone into him. He's, Danny's half got fucking like they've gone into each other. Danny's ended up getting on the back foot. And this geezer's fucking it now picked up the pool cue that Danny had dropped and done my mate Snowy with the with the, with the, with the pool cue. Snowy's got a, had a broken arm for about fucking I don't know however long after. But he says I said to Danny after, I said, "What did you drop the fucking pool cue for?" <laughs> That's a schoolboy. Who does that? You know what I mean? But it's uh, but like anyway, it's going off like fucking. And then I've got um, I had a bottle of Smirnoff, and um, I just chipped this geezer straight in his head with a bottle like this Brighton geezer stabbed him straight in the head at the back of his head like just gone bang bang cut him in the back of his head and uh, they all started scattering thinking that we had a blade or something they've gone he's got a knife he's got a knife they all started fucking bolting yeah. so, like this I think when the video online is a video online that's, that's when the video starts after that incident yeah, so I've seen the see, there is yeah, CCTV yeah, footage so, of that so, on the so, street yeah, yeah, so it misses shit. that first couple of minutes but the first couple of minutes was actually probably one of the best toe to toes that I've seen and then the video starts after that it's a bit like it's a bit to and from but people will get like they don't really justify like people are getting I see people I thought one, one of them was dead He's on the floor, curtains like out, pool of blood around him. He 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 stayed a little bit longer. His name his name's Shane. He was a good 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 lad. He stayed a bit longer than 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 the rest of them. And um, when he was running down the hill, and he got tripped up and like he got done got done quite bad. To be fair, he was getting done by my mate, and uh, my mate was on top of him. He was battering him, and I was thinking that he's had enough now. And then one of the older as the the same fella Asley who, um, who I was telling he was telling you about earlier, he was like the main the main older older fellow over Tottenham. As he's gone, stop. I said, he's not fucking Chelsea, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, you know what I mean? And he means it as well. Like, <laughs> it was the main boy of the firm at this time. So, Mark, so there was, there, there's a few different main fellows. Like, so you've got, you know, you've got a geezer called Mark Carpell, who is, um, he's, he's like probably one of the, you've got Keithy Robbins, who's that like old school, used to organise the buses. Sammy Skies was a black, 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 black fellow from uh, near Harrow Road side. He was, he was one of the main old school. Like, then like, you had Carpell, there's three different other different mobs. There's, there's one guy I read a book about. He was he was he was top new. I remember on the yeah. train. His name is Terry uh, Terry Tan. Is it Ter- Trevor Tanner? Trevor yeah. Tanner. Yeah. Yeah. So me and him don't like each other. Oh, was he? Yeah. Me and him. Um, me and him got in a um, got in a and got in a little straightener. Yeah. Yeah. When I was about nineteen. So um, yeah, that's a, that's that 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 basically he 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 when I started going, he wasn't really going too much and. Um, He's just a fucking, do you know what, like, to be fair, it was like, it was a bit of a mad one, like, I ain't really spoke about it before to, to much people, but like, um, he, he basically, he, when I was a kid, like, I had his book, yeah, and it was like the Bible to me. I read that, so I, read, <laughs> I read the book, that's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. I, I had his book, it was like the Bible to me, I, I, I fucking idolised the geezer, yeah? yeah, then when I met him, I just thought he was a bit of a cunt, to be honest with you, like, fucking, I met him, and uh, he was just a bit arrogant, and... Just not what not exactly not what you used to expect to see in the movie. You know, not what not what I thought was gonna be. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? The film, the film didn't. You know when you see a film and you meet the film star and he's he's a prick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I met him and I thought, fucking, oh, I idolise you. And he's like, do do certain things like you know, like link, like you meet up with him and he'd ring up before and say, oh, I want me, I want a Fosters and my missus wants a vodka and coke. Like don't do like you don't know me like that to be ringing me up, pre-ordering drinks at the, yeah, at the yeah, bar yeah. and I don't know you. Do you know what I mean? Like, what do you think I am? A fucking Joey, do you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, I just thought he was muggy, do you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, show some more respect, do you know what I mean? Like, fucking, I might be a young lad, but don't talk to me like a div. To me, uh, like, you only do that if you're my best pal. Like, if me and you know each other from Adam, from from, from when we were kids, yeah. and you are deep, do us a favour, I'll fucking gasp him for a pint, do you know what I mean? Yeah, do that in love, do that in respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, 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 some, not someone you don't really know, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're trying yeah, to yeah. Joey me off, bro, like, do you know what I'm saying? So, fucking, he's just doing a few little things like that anyway. So, we're at a, we're at a birthday party once, yeah. And it's a birthday party. Everyone's out over Tottenham, and like for, for me, yeah, like, I've got respect for for older bods. Like I don't want to see any older bod penny. Like I don't really like because obviously they've done their bit. Whether or not they're active now or people don't rate them now or whatever, they've done their bit. Yeah, especially over Tottenham. Like 
They've done their they've done their piece. I don't know what they've done in fucking eighty four, but if they've done it, they've done it, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? So they've yeah. they got their strike, you give them that yeah, rating. Yeah, I do personally. Some of yeah. the other younger lot don't like are just like all oh, their has beans or whatever. But for me, I think you got to show a bit of respect because at the end of the day, they laid the foundations for what for what we've we've done. And you look like you, are you going to be doing that when you're their age? Are you still going to have? You're probably going to want to take your youth to the fucking game and keep your nut down. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So obviously. Um, he had a straightener. Some something happened with some in some Chelsea manner called Moly or something. I don't know. Something had happened. The Chelsea geezers had run me up. This this Chelsea fella that I used to try and organise a few things with, and uh, he's run me up. He said, "Ah, oh, Trevor um, got in a got in a little turnout in Moly. He's ended up getting a dig." So I'm like, "All right, sweet." And like, fucking shit happens every week. Like, what, yeah. like, what do you want me to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you ringing me for? <laughs> like, I mentioned it to Trevor. At, at his party, I said, oh, what happened at Modi? And instead of just saying, oh, like, fucking, yeah, I've got in a little turnout and, like, fucking, did it. he's come up with some fabricated story that, fucking, there was 20 of them and whatever, and I just fucking roll. You know when you just roll, you listen to someone, you say, yeah. mate, do you know, if you, got, if you got done, you got done, I don't really give a fuck, but I don't want to hear fucking fairy tales. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People get done, that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's keep it real. Yeah. We yeah. don't win them all, bro. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? you got to put your hands yeah. up and you be like, fuck it, you know, yeah. Yeah, I know, I got done, bro. Yeah. You know, you know when you just listen, I just, I just knew it was bullshit. So anyway, so wherever my eyes now, he's got the other at his party now. And as the night's got on, he's he's telling everyone that he's gonna do me. So these times now, because well, yeah. you roll your eyes, so he's, he's yeah. Like, he, I think it's a build up. I think he just he just felt like he wanted to stamp his authority, and he thought well, one of the little youngsters that would be the opportunity. I was about nineteen at that time. Do you think he knew because you was coming up? I don't know what he thought, but anyway, he picked the wrong person. To be honest with you, because he could have picked probably any other young boy that was going at the time, and he might have intimidated them or made them back down. But, but you were intimidated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously. But I just wanted to make sure because there's a bit of like, it's still a bit like of a hierarchy thing. Like you can't just be some young boy and come in and slap one of the main older lot and like you end up getting rolled over. So yeah. I sort of went to a few of the main older. I said, look, the geezer's going to put it on me. Like, obviously, what, what should I do? And they're like, just fucking do him then. If he comes up to you, do him. So I, like, I just I got the green light, mate. And I just, as soon as I got the green light, that was it. Like, fucking, he come over. And I've just, he's gone, oh, what, come outside. I said, what, come outside. I said, well, fucking do it now, you can't. I've just gone bang, 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 bang. Like, you set pace on him? Yeah, about six, seven punches on him, floored him. Like, and then fucking someone else jumped in, bang, up, up them, done them. And then fucking one of my family members, he's, he's, he's flopped on that fella. And then um, I'm on top of him like now, and fucking he, he's covered in blood, like fucking ping, pinged him up. Like someone said after, like, did you, did you use a, a, a tool on him? I said, nah. I said, these hands are just like shovels. Like, I said, don't need no fucking tool, you mad. <laughs> I don't need no tool. Huh? Fucking cunt. <laughs> anyway, so he's got, he's, he's flopped on the floor now. And like, do you know what? I, do you know what? I don't even mean to talk disrespectfully to either because he was a fucking legend of his words. But now, nah, I mean, if you act like a cunt now, I'm, I'm just going to say it how it is. Mm. And I, 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 do, I do regret fucking doing it but at the end of the day you stuck it on me like yeah. you, you sealed your own fate you could have just been humble and respected the younger lot you chose no, no, well, let's to. keep it ruled in would yeah. you have before, would you, obviously you read his bible like you read, you read his book like he said it was a bible yeah. would you have rather have him always been like two, two yards and, and, and then yeah. obviously gone down that path of where yeah I would have rather happened. him just be sweet but he tried to have a bully up so yeah. it's his own fault do you know what I'm saying so I rate him for what he done he was a fucking game well like everyone will sit there and slag him off now and say oh this and that but brother Keys was game as arsehole do you know what I mean yeah. so fucking done loads over Spurs he might have been a bit of a bully and da 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 da, da but me, you can't knock him like fucking, you can't just say, oh, because he's been turned over now, ah, oh, this and that, he's a cunt. He was game, game as arseholes and he'd done a lot over there, do you know what I'm saying? But anyway, he's I've, he's hit the deck and I've, he's fucking covered in clarity and I've gone, um, I've gone to him like, fucking, I think I stood over him and I was like, fucking stick that one in your next book, you cunt. Spat on the floor and then fucked off out of there. <laughs> I'll stick that one in your next chapter or something. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> what line is this saying here? Yeah. Fucking hell. It's a bit of a fucking... Hey. But, um, but yeah, no, nah, but it's a bit of a shame because he was a he was thing. But yeah, it is what it is though, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Happens. So when well, how do you when you when you started actually getting into the football now and that like, actual sort of what meeting you started with like you saying you started meeting Joe, you started meeting these people, how did that Probably sort about, of come about? About, about sixteen years old, like obviously I used to always but I used to, used to know them because I used to be in a pub because my uncle was an older bod, yeah. I used to know all the all the fellas over the top. I used to know, yeah. know all of them quite well. But like I used to hear their stories and that, but it was like when I was about sixteen, started doing my own thing. I got I got Nick for the first time when I was like six I was like sixteen. Was I got Nick for? for Cardiff Tottenham at home. And Arsenal at home. Oh, yeah, Arsenal at home, yeah. Well, we're definitely going to get on to the Arsenal at home in a minute. I want to get yeah. on to that one, innit? Yeah. What, what, what was your first football violence? What was that? What was that? When was that first time? It, it, you remember like, that first football sort of. Uh, 
Probably the first first for first, first time I can remember is Arsenal when they won the league. At oh, so it is the Arsenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. They won the league, and I, I end up on a road with a load of Barmies, not Tottenham fans, and they've come down the road like about two hundred of them, and they had the fucking it was right near the ground, and they won the league, so it was like a little bit after, and they fucking come down the road, and the old Bill and Arsenal chased into us, yeah, and fucking all the Tottenham scattered, and I remember fucking this one geezer like there's only about fifty of us, but they weren't proper firm these boys. I remember this one geezer, I'm in the middle of the road, this one geezer, I don't know who the fuck he was still to this day. He's, he told me, I'm about 14 years old, he told me and he goes, me and you, because we're standing till the fucking end. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of the road, yeah? I'm fucking, these like 200 gooners and about about seven or eight old bill or six old bill, whatever many numbers, are running towards a police baton's jaw. Like, they're back, they're, they're coming closer yeah. and closer. And this cunt's in the middle, I have to fucking give him the shake off. <laughs> fucking, yeah, mate, fuck, I thought, who's this lunatic? But yeah, fucking, they, um, they come down that road, but like it was weird because they won the league at Tottenham minutes, so they was all their boys were out. And uh, these old Bill just fucking stood there for a second. And then the feds just drew their batons and went, ah! Well, what the fuck? And then Arsenal sort of stood for a second <laughs> and then they run behind them. The first, one of the first proper, proper tear ups though was, was Arsenal as well. Like, I can remember like proper scraps was um, Arsenal away in the cup and it was the same time I got nicked for the home game. But the away game was where I actually went off. And on the away game, fucking, we never went into the ground. We was trying to twos up into the ground. We never had tickets. So we tried to twos up into the ground anyway. About 10 of us had never went into the ground. So in this boozer, and uh, it's called the Lord Nelson, I'm pretty sure, the Lord Burley or some, 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 some name. We're in this pub. It's on Arsenal side. On Arsenal's it? ground, yeah. It was near a petrol, near a petrol station. And um, it's, I think it's changed the name now. We're in this boozer and uh, watching the game and that. And um, I think me, my, my doll, me doll, however you pronounce his name, he scored. And uh, fucking, we were up to him in the pub like, fucking yes. But just before that, these fellas had come in and uh, they, they looked a bit suspect, but I weren't sure who, who, who they was. And we're in the pub anyway, we got our backs turned to the door, watching the screen at the back. And uh, these, as, as me, Milo scored, we all got our bang anyway, bang, we've just all been come from behind, bang, everyone's fucking been digged from behind, bang. Uh -huh. Everyone sort of like stumbled a little bit, beers have gone up, fucking, and like a few odds have dropped on the floor. These times now, we've turned back around, now we're scrapping like it's going off, yeah? And I just remember fucking picking up this bar stool. And I'm trying to look for who's who's who now. It's like a proper melee of, of violence in the in the gaff. People are getting decked, fucking bods are falling over. And I'm just looking at you know, I've just found my fucking target. I see this geezer, this gooner geezer, and I knew he was a gooner, I knew he went with us. And I'll just let him have it. But I picked up this little mini bar stool and I've just gone crash onto his head, yeah. Like the end of those quite heavy, them oak oak stools. Bust his head, I've done him about ten times on his head. Fuck just repeating it. I was just going, kind of bang, just fucking doing him, doing him. Anyway, fucking Claret everywhere. Oh, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a lot of fucking blood busted that open. And I've, he, I think he's, from what I can remember, he's one of their main older lot as well. And I was only 16 at the time, so it was quite a good little scalp. And um, I fucking, they even ended up getting done out of the pub. They just come out. We was young lads, but there was this one lad as well called Palmer, Paul Palmer. He's a black, black fellow who comes to Tottenham. He had big hands like shovels, yeah, and he was just decking people all over the gaff. Like, fucking, there was, just a, there was a good couple of people that could scrap in there. And it ended up, Coming a bit like they, they they ambushed us and it cut it went a bit the other way for them. Do you know what I mean? They got done out, fucked off outside the pub. The bouncers are trying to stop me from doing this geezer with a stool. Then his two mates are coming. I was doing the two mates over the back with a stool as well. And um, yeah, there's a pool of blood coming out as they're pulling them out. Yeah, fucking. Then uh, the old bill turned up inside. Like we just sat there like nothing had happened. Yeah, fucking. My mate, one of my mates who come from my era, he he was in the toilet the whole time. It happened. Yeah. Come outside. Like, what the fuck? Is that? I was like, yeah. I was like, that was a convenient shit. That you just had. <laughs> I was like, convenient five minutes gone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You couldn't have timed it any better. Do you know what I'm saying? Fucking hell. No. But um, but yeah. Fucking, we smashed the granny out and badly like, as well. That one, that one was a beat and as a bad beat and they took. But do you know what? See, Arsenal rate them like everyone slagged them off yet. Yeah. But with Tottenham, they they they'll have it. Like, but anyone wants to say, bruv, yeah, you go over to Arsenal on a certain day. Yeah, and you can, you can come unstuck if you think that you're going to go over there and have a fucking easy ride, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they just don't do enough. Like, they don't go enough places, so they ain't got the reputation that they that they probably could have if they was more a bit more active. But they got bother. You look at the area, is there? It's not a muggy mm. area, do you know what I'm no, saying? No, no. Like, you've got boys, they're not dickheads, you know what I'm saying? So, like, people will go over there and think, oh, fucking, because it's Arsenal, they ain't really got a name like that. But, like, bro, in the 80s and that, they was doing it. Like, these bodies don't just disappear, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They're still... They're still there, and so, like sometimes you can go over there and come. You can come unstuck. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, that was that was a good one. That's probably one of my favourite ones, to be honest. With you. What's the what was the time you sound about coming unstuck? Then yeah, what was like the time like the worst time you did come unstuck? Um, in football, in football, not really. I don't, I don't really think there's been a bad a bad time as such where we, where we probably come unstuck. I think there's uh, what I've 
I went over. I went over to West Ham. Us through my own stupidity, more than anything. I went West over to that. Yeah, last game of the season was their last game of the season. We weren't even playing them. Took a little firm over there and um, fucking only five of us. So I was in the other West End. It was a little five, and it was like they come about 20, 30 handed all with tools. They said to me not to bring any tools. They said don't bring any tools. And I fucking was gonna go in the shop and just go shopping for for cutlery. Yeah, they said don't bring no tools. I would just plunge them to bits. They said no, nah, don't bring no tools. No tools. No tools. I was like, alright, cool, sweet. No one to bring no tools. I was like, look, we're only bringing five. I said, bring ten. It'll be your best. And we'll, and we'll smash the granny out of you. Yeah, and then fucking... Anyway, they turned up with like fucking whatever many they turned up with all hammers, bits of wood. So they, t- they told you not to turn up no tools? Yeah, yeah. And they then, come more than you yeah. and they bring their tools yeah, as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the fucking... Fuck. I was only with, I was with about three proper young kids as well and they bolted straight away. Then my mate, my mate was in the middle of the road. He got, he, he fucking banged a few of them. Then they swung a hammer past his nose and he flapped it. Then I'm in the middle of the road now going, fucking put the tools down, I'll fight all the fucking. Anyway, they're not putting the tools down, they're trying to swing the hammers and bits of wood. Yeah. And I'm getting legged up, legged up the road a bit into some shop. And then in this shop, yeah, got into this shop and I'm thinking, right, I'm gonna fucking chip these cunts to bitch, yeah. I'm gonna fucking get, went straight over to the bottle bit. And um, I remember one of their young, young lot, main young lot, this kid's called Mark, coming to the shop and he's like, oh, fucking, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I was like, listen, I'm going to fucking cut on you, cunts. So I'm fucking in this, uh, in this, uh, this drinks bit and uh, trying to get the bottles. And I've gone, there's two shops, there's an off license there and there's a fucking grocery shop here. The Muslim grocery shops, they've got no alcohol. Yeah. I've gone in the Muslim grocery shops on Romford Road. Gone in these fucking uh, Muslim grocery stores and I'm just fucking had a mental breakdown by the window. I go, there's no fucking glass bottles. It's all, <laughs> it's all plastic. I threw the plastic bottles on the floor, yeah, and a meltdown. I lost the keys of the top. I thought this guy's lost the plot. Then anyway, so I thought, fuck it. Listen, we got we got to still front it. Ran to, ran out to the door. I'm come on in. I was like, I'm fucking Tottenham. I'm not fucking budging. Start beating my chest, swinging fucking aim like just not really hitting anyone just trying to keep them back they're fucking coming at me with the hammers flying kicking me got backed off into the shop ran outside again come on in for about three times it happened and um yeah fucking it's a bit upsetting because i know how shit they are you know what i mean yeah. and a fucking it was a bit like fucking mate you know what i mean just uh, it's my own fault my a couple of my pals had yelled at me after because it was like you give them a result you handed yeah. them a result really but you live and you learn innit? it do you know what i mean but the main thing i said you know what? they would never have the arse sort of come over our place Last game of the season. You got to think last game of the season, all their boys are out. It's a piss up for the minute. Mm. It was a mistake on my part. But I, to be fair, if I was them, I wouldn't even be claiming it. Because at the end of the day, like, I said to them after, I said, look, I can't run outside. I was like, look, two minutes you've had me here for. I, I, was, I, I was marvellous. I said to them, my missus and her pals, six of them with stilettos would have done more damage than you lot. So, I mean, that's a fact. <laughs> my mugs, mate. It, they, were, they were shit, mate. Like, yeah. They're incapable of like, putting someone away. Yeah. Like, oh, mate, if it was the other way around, mate. You know what I mean? And the worst thing was a couple, six months before, is this fella called Mike. He goes with there lot. He's a mug, mate. If I ever see him, I swear to God, like he's a proper little mug. Uh, he, uh, he, is he what, is this West Ham? He's lad? West Ham lad, yeah. He, they got a run at South Tottenham by us, yeah. And this West Ham lad, Mike, he got caught out. He just, I don't know what happened. He just froze up. He completely just froze. He just stood there. All them ran off, yeah. Fucking and all the young lot around him, like hyenas, like fucking ready to do him. And I've gone, no, nah, I said leave him. He's on his own. I said go on, son. I said go on your way. Slapped him on his back. He gone fuck off. So he fucked up. He was the main one that was trying to go for me at the other thing. Yeah, I said you fucking saucy cunt. You know what I mean? So, uh, so ah, yeah. yeah. So you, yeah, you give him a pass. Yeah, I give him a proper pass. Yeah, and then when the table was there, instead yeah. of him shining it back, he, yeah. he's actually trying. Yeah, to... he was the main one trying to go for me. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I thought he was dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's all right though. It happens. You live and you learn. Isn't live and learn. No live passes learn. ever. No squeezes. <laughs> That's the motto. Yeah. No squeezes. No squeezes. No, yeah, nah, no squeezes ever. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Never, I'm never giving anyone a pass ever. You know what I mean? Because they, they don't repay the favour. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So fuck them. Do you know what I'm saying? No, but yeah, so that was, um, but I don't really even see that as a row, really. I just see it that that was me just, I wouldn't really claim it. Or if I was dumb, I wouldn't claim it. But obviously, that's the only thing that they can claim, so they are going to claim it. Of course, they're going to claim it, isn't it? They yeah, can't I'm claim really anything claim else. Because yeah. if it was, they can't claim anything else. Do you know what I mean? Because if, if it was anything normal, they would have got fucking yeah. rumbled. Do you know what I mean? So let's get on to Chelsea. Yeah. Let's get on, let's get on to the rows of Chelsea. Yeah, so obviously, I, got, I, got, I was talking about when I got put away, I got put away yeah. for the Brighton thing. And I got put away for Chelsea as well. What happened with Chelsea getting put away? Um, well, nothing. It was a bit of a non-event, really, but it was what was going to happen. Like, fucking... They, they, I got nicked um, with a... With a I, well, I got nicked afterwards, but I got nicked, the, the pub got surrounded. We was, we was having a meet with Chelsea in Enfield. And, um, fucking... I went shopping in B&Q. Fucking with, for a load of hatchets and axes and... I bought, this, I bought this gym bag full of axes, hatchets, medieval axes, knives, baseball bats. Fucking hell, this bag, yeah, fucking... And, um... And uh, put this, we plotted this bag off in this bush, and um, 
fucking, I'd someone grasped it. I don't know who grasped it, but someone grasped it anyway. Fucking, old Bill flopped on the boozer. And then um, uh, about, about six months later, they surrounded the pub, nothing happened. They found the tools. Six months later, bam, my door comes through. They fucking had like a parcel fingerprint on it or DNA on the bag or something. Yeah. Fucking, I got done for the tools anyway. They was trying to do me for conspiracy to commit GBH with intent. Sure. They done me, f- I ended up getting convicted in a trial. I got done for conspiracy to commit violent disorder. And it was, it was, there was going around, the f- um, there was all the tools there. And I, I, I forgot how many tools in this bag. How many, how many were in there? There's loads of shit loads in a, a big gym bag full of weapons. <laughs> anyway, yeah, fucking. I was thinking, the night before, I was thinking, mate, I was going to cut one of them so badly. Like, I had the two out of these two axes, and I was like, said there was, I claimed them as mine, yeah, I was going to come outside the booth with the two axes running down the road, <laughs> fucking after them, like, and then, um, yeah, I was hoping to fucking get busy that day, but it never happened. Um, probably a good thing, because I reckon someone would have been on an M charge, because yeah. was people were like, I, I was in a mode, I was in the mode that day, a few others were in the mode that day. So maybe God just looked down on us, you know what I mean, and things don't happen for real. At the time, I was still dying. Still every cl- class, still Yeah, dying, and I only got a little bird. It could have been a lot worse. How long did you do that? What was the sentence? I got 18 months. Eight, and do and nine. I, yeah, yeah. So, but, and then I got two and a half years as well for the Brighton thing. So, together. Yeah. So, obviously... Um, so, what was the time like in jail then? How did you get on with jail? Because I know you said, obviously you said earlier about doing the block and all that. Yeah, right? no, that, that time was sweet. That time I got my decat, I was smooth, I just kept my nut down. Yeah. But then this, I, went again, I went away again, and that time went a bit different. I was grafting and just, yeah, just went a bit. I got a screw shitted up. And then, oh, yeah. yeah, I got paid for a screw to get shitted up. And that after that, it just went peaked on for me. Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So then someone grasped me about paying for the screw getting shitted up. So we kind of knew it was going to happen. So all us, all us boys created like a little cinema seating area <laughs> over the landing <laughs> and what's watching take place <laughs> and the, the screws been done there was loads of shit all, 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 the, all, the, all the drug addicts were fucking in the toilets fucking shitting and pissing in this bucket yeah, yeah, for right. those who don't know yeah. what shitting up is yeah. we should yeah, tell yeah, them yeah, for those yeah, who don't yeah, know yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I'll let you say go ahead nah, it's just basically <laughs> shit and piss con- like mixed up and then they, then he gets d- dashed on the, yeah. on the screw on the officer so obviously this screw, this screw is fucking... It's definitely a shit one for them, love, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shit day. It was a shit day for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this, this, this screw had fucking... It, it knocked me back my decat and I'd been right. I'd been trying to keep my nut down. I was doing... I was running this number one on the servery, cleaning the fucking servery tray all the time. Just doing a bit extra just to try and get my decat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this, like, just so I can get early to my kids and that, and this geezer, from, like, he, 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 all he was fixated in the decat report was a, a phone that I got caught for, like, 11 and a half months before. It was two weeks before the date that they were saying it would be spent yeah. for this decat review. But it was supposed to be actually be six months. But they was being fucking whatever in, in, in amount at the time. And um, What jail was this? This is a mount. Mount, yeah. So, obviously, so the screws, the screws, I said, I'm going to sort this. So, I, 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 I got the screw done. I didn't fucking... And uh, when he's got done, he's a bit posh, this geezer. He's going, oh, no. He goes, I, he goes, I think I've been potted. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hey. The whole land in the shed, hey. But, um, but, yeah, fucking. I think I've been potted. Mate, and then, um, and then like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the, on the wing, <laughs> and, like, and um, at lunchtime, I've heard this, I've heard the, the geezer I got paid up, who I paid to do the job. Yeah. I just said, <laughs> like he's screaming in his cell and he's got Mufti in there they're beating oh, the shit bet. out of him he's bent he's going bent his arm's getting broke oh. I'm thinking oh I thought fuck <laughs> and the whole time I was sitting there thinking, he's going to bubble me I thought he's, he's going to get a prolonged beating and he's going to bubble me I thought he's going to grass yeah the wind's just gone silent it's like all airy and I'm thinking fuck you know um, something don't seem right you know you can always get that feeling the vibe yeah the vibe you know the vibe yeah, 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 there's a vibe on the wing you know yeah, like, yeah. something's happening down there like there's a smell and then someone's going Mufti because Mufti's obviously like right 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 officers are on the wing like and um fucking yeah the Mufti had turned up and um I'm thinking they're like I'm thinking aren't they coming for me but anyway I just bought a new phone he was like fucking I spent nearly a quid on this phone yeah and um I said to them, my pal I said look my cellmate, I said, go out the toilet. I said, they come in, just fucking flush the, flush the machine, yeah? Anyway, so I'm by the, by the door. I'm looking out the door. And nothing's really happening. Nothing's happening. And then they're fucking, and I just saw one of the CMs at the door. And I just, yeah, yeah I was fucking, I just knew straight away. He's like, fucking, Mr. Hawkins, are you going to comply? So I'm like, what do you mean, comply? Comply for what? They're like, we're taking, I've, I've never been, these times, I've never been taken down the block. Yeah. And my mum's life, yeah? About two weeks before, I said to my padmate, I said, I wonder what, because one of our pals got sh- swagged off to the plot. I said, I wonder what it's like down the plot. Oh, <laughs> no. I said, I wonder what it's like. Fuck I said, yeah. I, said I wouldn't mind doing a couple of days out there just to see what it's like, a little experience. <laughs> <laughs> like two weeks before, I must have jinxed it. So anyway, fucking, he's a, uh, the Mufti had come. 
And they firmed up, mate. I'm talking fucking either side of the door, dogs, fucking whatever. And uh, I've gone, are you complying? I've gone, yeah, 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 I'll comply, like, fuck you. Anyway, so I've come outside, the Mufti are fucking still frightened at the door, like, the main one. First ones are coming in, they're like, off. Oh, they're, they're, they're ready to go in, like, they're edgy, like. And um, I've come outside, and I've looked to the right, I've looked to the left, and I thought, fuck, I said, what, this is all you fucking brought? I said, you would have needed more if you're going to come in my cell, you cunts. <laughs> and I got fucking, I got handcuffed. And they're walking me down, I'm handcuffed down, I'm walking, the dogs are either side fucking going nuts. You know, and the whole wing, I they used to call me Big D and Joe, I was about 22 stone, I was fucking massive. And uh, they're all, everyone's at the doors fucking banging the doors going, free Big D, free, free Big, Big D. D. The whole fucking <laughs> wing just erupted, bang, 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 it wasn't a fucking like, it was nuts. Coming out like fucking head down, never been down the block in it, so I'm like, I don't know what I'm going into in it. So I thought, fucking, it's a bit like, Bit surreal, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was on a lunch break, just fucking getting ready to fucking have a shit before I come out, <laughs> fucking, and then go to work doing the surgery. And the next thing, you know, I'm getting fucking carted off by about twenty officers with fucking two riot dogs. Fucking the governor was there, CM walking down, got into this room, got obviously strip search, fucking naked. There about six officers around me in the strip search, squat down, whatever, bang, fucking, and then uh, yeah, I just got held down there for about six weeks, and um. Fucking made it work. The first couple of days were shit. Like, so you're getting your nut round in it. After yeah, a few yeah. while, it's not, it's all right. But, like, I was out the window looking at fucking wildlife. There was, like, rats and fucking whatever. And that's your fucking yeah. entertainment. Do you know what I mean? Feeding the rats your scraps. Oh, and I fucking... did nine months. Yeah. I so did nine months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you start talking to so I started, yeah. oh, I remember yeah. sitting here, like, we're playing conversations like years ago. Then yeah. I start over talking and I start having them conversations again yeah. and talking for them. And not as well, I find with the blocking that you have, you, 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 when you're down there, you, you, you replay all the, all the negative stuff that's happened in your life. You replay yeah. it in your mind and it's like fucking, it becomes like a movie at some point. Yeah, that's like, that's fucking you all start the negative playing, stuff, yeah. they start playing in your mind. It's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Fucking, so you've got a lot of time to think and that they kind of block. Test you. Yeah, it, test it does. You. It does. It's right. So what they've what they done to me was they, um, I had a fucking, I, had a, I remember I had a major row over, over fucking uh, some black jeans. You know, you're not really like black jeans in jail. Yeah, yeah, so like, like, yeah. uniforms. Yeah, clash with their uniforms. Yeah, clash with their yeah. uniforms. So I was like, I've got I had these black Stone Island jeans that I used to wear on visits. And I was like, this is my visit jeans, innit? So I'm like, so the geezer, so I'm going on a visit now. The geezer's going, I mean, you can't, you can't have these jeans on a visit. I said, look, mate, I've been in there for about a year and a half now, mate. I said, I'm oh, fucking, I'm, I'm taking these tr- sh- jeans out of my visit, not wearing your fucking prison issue jeans. I said, I've got my own jeans. I said, and they're the jeans I've been wearing on every fucking visit. Yeah. So like, if you don't give me my jeans on my visit, I said, believe me, when I come back, I'm going to put one of you lot in hospital. I said, so it's down to you. Like, I, I don't want to play it. Do you want to fucking give me my jeans or do you want the alarm bells going off? Because either way, if I don't go on my visit or you make me wear your jeans on the visit, when I come back, I'm going to do one here. So like, how do you want it? Do you want to be responsible for one of your gathers going away on the fucking ambulance? I said, just let me have my fucking jeans. Stop being a cunt. Mm. He's like, fucking, I said, look, mate. Go away and have a deliberation with whoever you want to have a deliberation with. But if you're not wearing my jeans, it's going off. So they went off, and the geezer come back, and I fucking, they said, all right, Mr. Hawkins, you can wear your fucking jeans. I was like, I was like good lad. I said, well, you made the right fucking decision. Do you know what I mean? So I went off on my jeans and that fucking, went on a visit. And after, they moved me wings from mine. and said, I was too like, powerful on that wing. I remember I brought a, sort of brought a phone straight away back on that wing, because my phone got flushed down the toilet. And um, I was in a... I was in a, in exercising in this little room and I had my phone on charge on my on, a, on my Xbox, I had it, had it charging. And fucking one of this this busy screw, I can't remember his name, Finch his name was, fucking proper little mug. He uh he, he he's he's busy, he's going so he's doing bolts and bars, but he's having a little nose around your cell doing yeah, bolts yeah, and bars. Yeah. So anyway, so he's got in my side little I didn't even know he was doing bolts and bars, I was just training in the room. You know, he's had a little nose, he's found my fucking um Phone on charge. Oh no. Yeah, he's fucking locked. I've only been on this wing about a week and I've been on So anyway, so I've gone like, he was chatting to me as well because he'd seen a few of my MMA fights on YouTube. So he was chatting to me about the MMA and da 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 the day before. And everyone was saying he was a cunt. I said, you know what? I said, you're, I said, I was trying to butter him up. I was like, ain't true what they say about you. You're all right. I said, no, you were actually one of the all right ones. You know what I mean? About a day later, the cunts found my phone. So I'm like, bro, I said, you fucking mug. I said, like, didn't give you a pass. I said, anyway, I said, you muggy cunt. I said, you know what I'm saying? I said, like, you fucking idiot. I said, anyway, he's coming back on the landing about a day later. I said, you said, you I said, you don't come on my fucking landing, you cunt. I was like, fuck it. I said, I said, fuck it. And I was, I knew one of the officers that I was doing business with one of the officers. And fucking, I won't say too much about it, but anyway, fuck it. 
I, I knew his I knew his registration plate on his car. I said, I've got a fucking track on your motor car. I didn't, I didn't actually have a track on your car yet. Yeah? I don't know. I didn't actually have a track on his car. I said, I said, you watching him going home? I said, I read his registration plate out to him. Yeah. I'm like, that was it. That was it. The next day, Musty again, mate. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, I, bet. I, bet. I was like, he absolutely shit himself. He went white as a ghost. Yeah. I said, you can't. But like, fucking, I was just, do you know what? I don't even know what I can't about. I was just angry. I know, like, I know it, innit? You get angry, angry, yeah, you know, angry you know, like, just fucking, uh, I should have just done him silently, but instead I fucking opened my big mouth and fucking, anyway, they uh, they got me down that block now. Mufti turned up to my cell, and um, I had a, I just bought, I just actually got bagged with that other phone, so I bought a little Zanka, one of the little mini ones. I'm thinking, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, if, if it comes on top, I'll bank that, whatever, because I knew it was going to be on me, yeah. So anyway, fuck him. Like, they fucking shut down the, the wing. Like, it's like an unusual time for them to shut down the wing. And I see a few officers and before they shut it down that were friendly with me. But like the heavy hitters, they was on, on my old wing. Heavy hitters that they had off, off the old wing. They're not like the big donnies that they turn, that they bring to, to, to turn up for a fucking scrap, yeah? Lo and behold, bang, they're at the door again. I'm like, for fuck's sake. Like, but just before this, I'd gone up and I said, look, I said if you gone up, spoke to the SR, I said, look, I said a few things the other day. It's a bit emotional. Da, 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 you know, I said, I've just come on this wing, done a bit of time, done a block. I shouldn't have said, um, like, your man's all right and I apologise. It was too late by then. They weren't, they weren't, yeah, they weren't, they weren't yeah. there. Fucking, and uh, I was just thinking, I don't want to, I, I started thinking properly, I don't want to get kicked out of the mat because it is actually the best job in the country. There ain't nowhere better than the mat. It was, it was easy, you know what I mean? Like, fucking, you could eat your own food, you know what I mean? It was, it was compared to anywhere else that I've been, it was a fucking, it was a good job, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, anyway, uh, long story short, uh, they've took me down a block, but I've got this phone on me and I hadn't banked it. Got this blower on me, got this, this little Zanko phone on me. Walking down there, fucking got into the rooms, obviously stripped naked, got the, got the blower between my, my ass cheeks and um, I'm sitting there thinking, fucking, how am I fucking, what am I going to do with this phone? I was like, I'm not getting nabbed with this. I was like, no matter what happens, I'm not getting extra days again. But like, two phones, they're sending it out to the old bill. I could have got another fucking 16, 18 month. I thought, fuck that. I said, I'm not I'm, I'm not getting bagged there. I'm, I'm not going out like this, whatever yeah, happens, yeah. yeah. If I do get bagged there, I'm going out swinging. Yeah, so anyway, so I knew knew one of the officers on the, that was in front of me. And uh, he was like the SO on my, on my wing. And I saw, I knew I could manipulate the situation into my benefit. So I sort of said to him, like, um, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, I said, listen. I was like, look, I said, all right, listen, listen to crack. I said, I've got a blower. I said, it's in my ass. I said, but I'm not letting you not grab it out. I said, I'll get it out. I said, I'll give it to you now. I said, just fucking give me two secs. So I was thinking, I've just got to bank this raw. I was thinking, I ain't got no lube, nothing. I said, this oh, is going to work. Yeah. Oh, mate. So I'm like, fuck it. So I was sitting there thinking, right. But just before that, sorry, they, they had been fucking wanding me. And they, they, the Ola Jantunde, the, uh, the African officer, he's going wand, wanding me. And he's going, oh, you have something. You have something. It's, been, been it's yeah. gone off. It's gone off. Going, you have something. It's gone off. And I'm thinking, yeah. fuck. I was like, shut up, Ola Jantunde. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's gone off. What's gone off? I was like, it must not be working. <laughs> I was like, Ola Jantunde, you've got it in for me. I was like, you've always had it in for me, you cunt. Anyway, so, so anyway, so we're there. And uh, I was sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm fucked. Like, I'm sitting there going, they've got all their heavy hitters around me. I thought, if I make one more move, so I was fucking, obviously said to the screw, I said, I've got the fucking dog. I said, like, da 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 Anyway, so, pretending that I'm now fucking pulling it out, and I'm just going, and I've just gone, whoosh, bang, 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 it straight up my ass, yeah. <laughs> Phone's up there. The little the, the Tunde, he's got this, got this uh, wand, and he's wanding me. And I'm going, he's going, it's not going off. What have you done with this? <laughs> he's looking at me, he's looking off. I'm some sort of fucking black magic or something. <laughs> he's like, he wanted me. He's going, it's not, it's not going off. It's not going off. I was like, that's because there was nothing in the fucking air, you man. <laughs> he's going, he's going, like, like, wanted me. I'm like, you fucking mugs. I was like, the, the governor's outside going, how did you let him, how did you let him get rid of me? Oh, man, like, fucking one, fuming. I'm so fixed set, the one's not going off anymore. I'm like, fucking, what do you mean? I said, what? I said, nah, I said, I'll tell you what, yeah. I said, what? I thought what happened was I thought I had a phone up there. I said, I've fucking gone up there, had a little fill up. I said, I must have made a mistake. They went up with their cup. They had the raving up, the governor was going nuts. They fucking, they put me in this room that had no windows. It was summertime, baking up all you slags. Next door was a suicide geezer. So I had him fucking trying to do himself. I'm in this room with no sunlight. Didn't know how long I was going to be down there for, but I, was, I had my hands in my head going, what? And I was like, it's baking up. I thought, what? This geezer's fucking trying to do himself every two minutes, going mental. Mm -hmm. Like, fucking, all I can hear is him trying to kill himself. I can hear another geezer like the fucking landing having a shit protest. 
<laughs> fuck you, mate. He was just like, you know, like head on earth. You know, like, like fuck, yeah, <laughs> fuck this. Like, seriously, the summertime is baking. The World Cup's about to be on. No radio. <laughs> like, I was like, fuck you, no. Know? And um, anyway, they held me down there for fucking however long, another fucking six weeks or whatever. Yeah. And it was like, but I'd only been out on the landings for a week. Fuck. So that like, fucking, that probably done my head more than before because it's like, they put, but they dangled a carrot at me and then let me down and then fucking bang. They moved me to a fucking high point prison. In high point prison, they'd done the same thing. Bang. After a couple of months, down the block. Let me back out for a week and then back down again. It was almost like a kind of head fuck thing that they was trying to do. They like almost like give you a fucking bit of hope and then hang yeah, you again, yeah. you know what, what I mean? That's what it does. And um, to head fuck you like fucking mentally. But they, when I was in high point, they said that I put two and a half grand on the, on the screw's head, the, the security governor's head. I said, mate, two and a half quid. I said, I'm going home in two and a half months. Yeah, I said, yeah, do you yeah. not think I'd be better off spending that two and a half quid on my kids? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Do you really think he's not that important? I said, in two and a half months, I said, I'm going to be rubbing an absolute salt. Smoking <laughs> a big sniff. Do you think I'll give a fuck about this guy? He ain't that important. <laughs> he ain't that important. Do you know what I mean? And uh, they couldn't get their head around that, that he, that he weren't that important. But they was like, nah, he definitely... But some little fucking grass kind of told him that I'd put two and a half quid on... I probably said it in a... Over the dinner table, yeah. I said, I probably said, oh, I'd love to put a few quid on his head or say, over, over a bit of dinner or say, like speaking in passing. Some little word has fucking walked past yeah. and thought, fucking, we'll dob him in, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, fucking, I was down the block that then in high point, and that, that weren't too bad though, because they used to let us out for about an hour there. So we should come out and we could go out in two, so we'd do a bit of exercise or whatever. It weren't too bad. Once you had a little bit of routine, it's all about like anything, do you know what I mean? But I moved to Peterborough, Joe, from there, and I thought, fuck this, I said, I'm not selling a drug. I'm not getting in a scrap. I said, I'm just keeping my nut down. And do you know what the maddest thing was? I went to Peterborough. I'd never done fuck all. I was just like a normal civilian. And I fucking hated it, to be honest with you. Yeah. I like being in the mix. <laughs> like, I just went under the radar. I was like, you fuck. I went from being the man, like, fucking doing all the graft and getting the parcels in, whatever, fucking to, to an absolute no one. And the fuck, I thought, this is what it's like to be a normal a normal civilian. Like, and I didn't really like it. And it I'm truthful with you. I like the buzz. Yeah. I mean, and I'm a jail, and it, it's, it's happening. Like, when I, like, you just walk past, and like, no one, not, like, no one, the Peter, it's no exciting. It makes time sort of bands as it well. When things are happening here. That it, does. it sounds silly. It, it, it sounds immature. No, I'll get it. But, like, it's fucking, true. like, being a behaving myself in Peter, but I didn't really like it. It was like, time, like, it just, it just was like, you just then become a no one. Like, you just like, you're invisible. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was fucking. Is this really time like, the documentary that was on. Uh, Channel 5. Yeah, BBC, you, BBC, it, BBC 3. No, BBC 3. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, was it after? Did you go to jail after, yeah, after this? That, yeah. Is it after this? Yeah, I, yeah, I went to so jail after. Did people know which, did, like, when you were in jail? Yeah, yeah like, people, people know, especially the officers. Yeah. Like, which worked out bad, kind of bad though, because there was a bit like, whenever they did used to come for you, it used to be for a Yeah, because like, I knew you was obviously yeah, in his abode. Yeah, 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 so the fucking, it, was, it worked out a negative, like, but it was all right, though, it was fucking... Um, the, the documentary was, 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 was quite, with the second one, like, there was two of them. There was a first one that, one all that. The second one was we covered my, my first uh, my first MMA fight. Yeah, that's that's the one I have seen. Yeah. That, like, I, I yeah. see that stare down. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean you're fucking yeah. old. Yeah. Don't die, but I see that stare down. Like, you was in his right. Listen, the kids yeah. didn't want to know. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, would you? you see where that yeah. Yeah, the geez, the geez, the geez, the turn. Well, it's my first MMA fight. I got offered the fight. When I got offered the fight, I see this picture of this geez on. He's a right fucking fat cunt. And I thought, yeah, fucking, I'll steamroll this cunt. Did, 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 yeah. did, did. I thought, first fight, I said, it's going to be a BBC documentary. Did, 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 did. Yeah, got to this fight, yeah, got to the weigh-in. This geezer's shedded every single ounce of fat that he's had on him. He's gone on some fucking army fucking camp <laughs> to get ready. He, he's had the Rocky Balboa troop yeah. banging, banging out in his motor <laughs> every day since he got him fucking called on. Yeah, he's, he's back up for it. He's turned up with, a, with, with like a Linton Vassell and a few other bods who Linton Vassell's fought for a world title twice on, on Bellator. Yeah. So he turned up with a team and I was like, fuck. Say, yeah, he turned up yeah, with a team. Yeah, he turned up with some bods, mate. And I thought, yeah, do you know what? It, it, it kind of had a little psychological thing. So he turned up, he's burnt kisses at me in the way. And I thought, fuck, you know, I've got to you know, have I trained hard enough for this? You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Then sort of doubt started creeping in your mind. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the fight. Yeah. The mindset. Like, really, that's I started thinking, yeah. what, if I, what if I get weighed in on a on a BBC three? Like that'd be embarrassing. You know what I mean? You well, be able to go well, well to... now I need to know because I'm going to be fighting on Amazon. Yeah, that's the yeah, end. Yeah, so you yeah. tell me what? Yeah. Uh, you know, nah, the nah, pressure. It adds, it adds a lot of expectation into it. Like, yeah. like fucking obviously, I thought, mate, I've got I had 150 bods turn up on coaches to the, yeah. to, the, to, the, to the to the to the fight, and I thought, fuck me, if I if my first ever fucking proper MMA fight, I thought, fuck me, if I lose this, fucking. You might as well just fucking dig a little fucking hole up and go and live like Saddam Hussein did after the fucking <laughs> after Baghdad got invaded. Do you know what I mean? Not come back out for a while. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? Fucking. Oh, and uh, yeah, so obviously, um, 
yeah, come out, won, won the fight anyway. Like he was a tough, a tough opponent though. Yeah. Like, he was a tough opponent. I, I didn't see the fight. I see yeah, the fight. Yeah, and obviously I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect, how fit you had to be. But he was up for it. Like he was gaming that. Like do you know what I mean? He, um, I heard that he couldn't walk, walk, go to work for a couple of weeks after though, because I kept kneeing him in, in his leg. Yeah. Repeatedly, and he was—I think he was a floor lay or something. So he had to have about two weeks off work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you can hear you like you can hear all the boys in the background everywhere yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, that no, was good. It was, it was nice. Yeah. But then it kicked off. It kicked off. The fight. I was gonna say, yeah. And I'll tell you what, yeah, that like at the time, yeah, when it kicked off, I was thinking, fucking, thank fuck for that, because I was running out of gas. Yeah. So I was thinking, thank fuck for that, yeah. And then like, but then the, the worst thing happened. It actually worked, went the other way. I got more tired because it got because fuck, it's booted off outside. It's going off chairs. People are getting ironed out. Fucking chairs are going off, whatever. And uh, this is on the BBC documentary. This is on the BBC really documentary, really? yeah. So it's going off, and um, old, old Billa come in the in the premises, everything like fucking. And uh, I was uh, I was I was running out of breath, and I was thinking, fuck, so I can keep up, keep 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 it going, lads, because I need I need a breather. So I'm like trying to take a. I'm like theory. Alex Reed's going. Oh, you need to tell your boys to stop. And I'm like, what do you want me to fucking tell them? Oh, like, like, Alex Reed's <laughs> on the mic, did you? Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stop, stop. So I'm there, and I'm out of breath, yeah, and like fucking, and I'm thinking, fucking, you know, what, like. What, like, keep going. I'm thinking, keep going with it. Anyway, so the fight's now restarted, yeah. I've had the biggest adrenaline dump. I, the only thing that I can explain it to, yeah, is imagine you've had a straightener in a fucking cell with someone or, yeah. or in a car park or whatever with someone, tools or whatever, but it's gone off. And then everyone's fucking like, oh, yeah, fucking, it's all stopped. You've gone back in the booze or having a drink and fucking all the adrenaline is sort of gone. Yeah. And then bang, it's gone again. The gig just turned back up for it. And come back outside, let's go again. But after, it's all calmed down. Yeah, yeah. So you, you've lost the fucking edge that you've had. Then, like, when it's all calmed down, bang, it goes off again and you're just expected to just restart off where you started off. Well, sometimes you fucking, you're not in that mode anymore. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, fucking, your progeny is complete. You've had 20 minutes to calm down. You now, like, they've took you into another room. You've had a cup of tea or whatever. It's fuck, you've had a, you had a fag. And then fucking, they're like, yeah, he's back again. And it goes off. That's the only thing that I can explain yeah, to you. Yeah. It's difficult to get to that to that fucking, oh, let's get out of there and have a fight again. Do you know what I mean? When it's like, oh, well, I find it a bit difficult. And, I was, and also as well, I found that I was more tired. I had like an adrenaline dump. I had no energy then. I've heard about that. People saying yeah. they're fighting adrenaline Yeah, dips. so, so I, 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 to me, yeah, it felt like I'd, gone, I'd had the fight. I'd gone backstage and took my gloves off and I was ready to relax. But they, they weren't, they weren't so, you know what I mean? So I've come outside, had no energy. Literally, I think I had one more, one more round remaining. And I fucking, I just basically I just had to fucking sort of move about for the last round. I'd had, I, at one point, I spat my gum shoot out just to get a breather. Yeah. It was fucking horrible, do you know what I'm saying? He was he was fighting fit because he'd been on running around his fucking, I don't know where he'd been running, but he lost a lot of weight. <laughs> he'd been running a fucking fair bit, do you know what I'm saying? He'd been chasing chickens, Rocky right, style, right? right. <laughs> he'd definitely been chasing chickens, I'll tell you. But the keys had no, didn't have an ounce of fat, but he's come all chiseled, he was, he was ready for war, yeah. but he had his war phase. I thought, fair play to him, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? It's tough to be fair. The only geezer that's took me all the way as well. Yeah, he took the win. Yeah. So yeah. that was your first. So that, that obviously with the football and all that, though, obviously it was all behind you. Yeah. At this point, is this when you started walking away from the football? No, I started doing it in my mate too. Stop going to football. But I was banned. I didn't touch a big ban on me. I couldn't really go. Yeah. So I was like, I thought, I thought to myself, I'd do the documentary. I thought to myself, fuck it. Do you know what I thought? I'm not going to go be going back. I've got, I've got kids now. Fucking, what's it called? I ain't been for years. I've been banned. And then, like, yeah, I had the kids and that, so I thought to myself, I'm, I'm not going to be going back anyway. Yeah. For, when you're banned for 13 years, I was banned from most of London when we was playing. Banned from any city we went away to. Had to have my passport in when we went, when England played or Tottenham played. Yeah, to hand your passport in. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to go to Europe, nothing. So there was no way that I could even go near it. Yeah. Obviously, fucking, but once you're a football buddy, it never leaves you, do you know what I mean? Like, fucking, it's, a, it's, 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 it's part of you, do you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, I just, and I, doing the MMA kind of like stopped me from going for a while, stopped that, like, got that, got that, um, that fucking hunger to want to like, have a route of football. Yeah, so you was made it to like, that energy that you had from the football, the buzz yeah. was getting football, you, you found trying something to, to channel it. To. Not quite as much, but nearly, nearly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I had to try and find something that would supplement it. But like going and training all the time, it made me too tired to even think about, I'll be training on a Saturday, Sunday, like it's fucking going out and doing anything else. Was kind of, I didn't have the time for it, do you know what I mean? Plus work. But it was good because then I'd get a little buzz off the off the route. Not the same buzz. I'd get a buzz. I'd get an adrenaline buzz of having a f MMA fight, but not the same buzz. Yeah. It wasn't like half as frightening. That like football route, just the buzz of that sensation that I put through, I was just like unbelievable. Yeah. I can't like you can't. No, I've been in flipping attack with knives and yeah. bats. I've been dumb with fucking claw hammers in my head. Fucking. Fucking. Oh. I've had shot shot at me. You know what I mean, none of that even adrenaline compares to football. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's just fucking. It's like, it's like the euphoria that you get when you bust a corner, there's 40, 50 bods there. And it's like, come on, this is fucking it, let's fucking go. Yeah. And you look at your pals and that, and fucking, there ain't nothing that can compare to that. It just, it just like, it just sends, 
just like just like do, 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 your heart's racing so fast it just sends every bit oh, I just lo- I just loved it you know what I mean yeah, fucking yeah. yeah there couldn't couldn't be anything fucking there ain't any if there, if there was a drug that you could take to get that feeling I'll be fucking taking it <laughs> <laughs> trust me you'd make a fortune <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you I need to make a tablet <laughs> you know what I mean a little tablet like I'm fucking up <laughs> you see you saying you're, you had your passport on you yeah. did you ever did you ever go to any away games or did you have any tear ups with abroad yeah I don't mind I, don't, I, had one, I, I snuck out to, to Italy I snuck out to Milan with Tottenham and uh, we went to we went to AC Milan away and uh, went to their brew. We went, went to their brew. What are they called? The, they call, they're, like, they're like called ultras. Like I don't know particularly what their firm's called, but they, they uh, we went out to Italy. Went to this. Went, went to the game. Ten minutes before the end, we left. Like walking down the San Sirius spiral, the Peter Crouch scores. We end up beating them one 0 No, I remember that game. So yeah, we yeah, walked yeah. down the spirals, and we're fucking in the booze in this and bar, and um, in the pub and that, and like fuck, it's their main boozer. Like we, but we. Oh, we, what the Milan's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we, 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 so we've gone straight to there. Yeah, we went to we went to attack it before. Like everyone else went on shuttle buses to the game. Everyone went on shuttle buses. We fucking. Slipped out. We slipped away from the shuttle bus, and I remember being being on the on the on the train, and we was like, "No, we're staying two stops on, so we don't get shuttle bus in, so we got to walk through all the estates." And we stayed on this train, and these Tottenham fans stayed on it with us, and ended up in these moody estates in in in, in Milan. <laughs> and one of them's gone, "Oh, fucking, you know, all you wankers! Like you told us that." And we was like, "So we was talking to each other. We weren't talking to you, you can't Bang up, chin him. This geezer. Wait, it's it's Tottenham geezer. Bang the Tottenham geezer. Bang the Tottenham geezer. <laughs> 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 Tottenham geezer Cause sorry." <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're on this train, yeah. And the geezer's gone. The geezer's having a go at me because we, we were supposed to get. They were supposed to get off two stops one, get this shuttle bus, so they safely walking to the ground. We're like, we're not safely walking into the ground. We're going the other way. Yeah. And the geezer's gone. Do do do. It's a mouthful. I say, shut up. You can't bang bang him yeah. And then one other guy's gone. We're all talking about. I said, that's even fucking worse. I said, <laughs> I said the rest of you don't annoy me. I said, I only like my pals. <laughs> I, said, I said, I don't like anyone else. <laughs> Carry on walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking. They was just like fucking. They didn't know what to do. They fucked up on the train the other way, waiting on the other side of the yeah, But they fucking. They was annoying me. The old journey they was. And um, anyway, I said, go and get your fucking shuttle bus, your mug. Fucking. So we've walked here, yeah, walked up the road, and all the shuttle buses come past. All the Spurs fans on the shuttle buses. And my mates are pointing, going, "You look fucking mad." There's only like twelve of us hopping up the road. Yeah, all these buds like these uh, buds with shiny jackets. These Italians have seen us from the estates, and there's all graffiti all over the estates. I thought this is gonna come on top any yeah. second now. Got to the ground and. Uh, Fucking see their pub. There's about two hundred geese outside the pub. My mate wanted to stick it on it. I goes, look, mate. I said, look, if we put it on that pub, I said, and we get good little cage around it, we're gonna get cut to ribbons if they start pulling out chairs and there's nowhere to fucking move to. I said, call it. Tell them to come outside with that cage. But I said, I don't wanna get caught in that cage. I said, can they come outside into the open ground and we can start doing them as they come out? They wouldn't move. They was going away. We was going away. You fucking tally of mugs or something. Whatever it was, we said, it's going come on. Like fucking, they wouldn't move. Yeah. So we was like, fuck it. I said, what we'll do is we'll get in there after the game. Before they before they get in there, and we'll, we'll plot up and wait for them as they come come out. So we'll have it. Gone and gone down there during the game. We're going into this pub. The geezer who ran it was one of their boys. So we're in the booze. We propped the Tottenham flag up, England flag up outside the booze. <laughs> we had two German lads of us as well from from Bayer Leverkusen that we knew. And we're in this pub, and Tottenham flags come up, and my mate stood on the door and was like. No Italians allowed, only Spurs. Oh, yeah. and we're, this is this is yeah, their boozer. Their boozer, yeah. Fucking yeah. hell, so, yeah. and, and 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 the Tottenham end's been shut off. So ten minutes before the end, just before we got out, they locked off the Tottenham end. So we're the only Spurs fans that are out at the San Stero. San Stero is in the, San Stero is like massive ground, loads of Italians and that. So we're out, we're in this pub, and uh, the, the the they can tell the, the barman one of us gone like he did yeah, not I bet. It. And uh, we're going, uh, we're going. No, we're staying, we're staying. Like we're fucking one more one pint and then we'll leave. And the geese is like, well, you have one pint and you do. And then the next thing you know, there's about 100 of them outside this booze up. Fuck, you know. I look outside and I think, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. And uh, the, the barman's then gone, uh, the bar- barman's gone, it's time to leave now. I said, I'm fucking Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I said, fuck. On the top side, I said, I'm fucking Betty. You can look out the window. I'm all right, here we go. So we're like, fucking, my mate, uh, my mate um, Clive, he's, he's come to the door and fucking, we've come outside and he's walked out first. Fucking, he's, he's, he's always game as arsehole, you know what I mean? He's fucking proper. He's, he's the Martin Geezer's brother. The two brothers, the Asley brothers. Game as, game as anything. Walking out of the door now. 
And the uh, fighters gone come out first, and Klaus swung a punch at one of them, and they've all gone, whoa, 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 all backed off, like, yeah. you know, just like they was fucking, they was a bit nervous. Yeah. So I'm going, fuck, I said, they don't fucking want it. We go, <laughs> come on, we go, Stephen had a fun, yeah. But mate, they scattered everywhere, but hundreds of them just went, shh, it was like the partner that went, see, like Moses just coming to the sneak, they just went, shh. I was chatting after them, you lot are fucking worse than West Ham, you cunts. We're kicking them up the arse as they're running off, fucking. And they bolted up, and then we just fucking marched. We marched to the station, we got everyone fucking stay tight. And I was just waiting for it. Any point, no, they, they never come. I was thinking they're gonna because we heard stories about them coming past with mopeds and cutting bods. Yeah, so we was expecting probably more than what what happened. But yeah, it was funny though. You know what I mean? But it's fucking. I thought we was gonna get fucking murdered, but <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. We could come out alive. Do you know what I'm saying? But uh, it was it was it wasn't the, wasn't the biggest row, but it was it was a funny one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the Euros in France. What happened out there? Oh yeah. Like that? I won't. I won't. I won't. I, 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 I was banned. But you see what it is? You see, we like. We see with England here. They've, number one, they've banned, banned, banned most of the most of the top table bods who are going to organise shit or be a, they don't know how to go. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously you've got these firm like they're, like they're attacking innocent people. Yeah, like, like they're doing like yeah. people going to support yeah, like, And they're fucking mean? walking the past fifty and anyone can do that. You can walk into you can go into fucking any square. You can, that's like going to the Leicester Square and bashing up a load of. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like fucking, they just they just can't distinguish between proper lads and. And so, so like, these Russians and like they're game here, yeah, they can have a row wherever they go training. But at the end of the day, yeah, like fucking you've got to be fighting proper lads, not just anyone in the English shirt indiscriminately yeah. hitting them. Do you know what I'm saying? It's is that like, so that is in the football days, you've never young know, just because they got the other shirt on, you ain't yeah, gonna go nah, into it. Don't work like that, no. Nah. nah. I don't don't get me wrong, like when I used to go to Tottenham, Tottenham West Ham or Tottenham Arsenal, if I saw an Arsenal shirt of paint <laughs> on the deck that someone had done, mm. I would I'd, I'd laugh a little bit. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? But it would normally be like normal, it won't be like firm lads, it'd be like barmies yeah, or something, yeah. like normal supporters doing normal supporters. It'd yeah. be funny, do you know what I'm saying? It'd be funny, innit? Like not, not funny as in like, but like Every sort of when Tottenham play Arsenal, there'd be a, a, an Arsenal shirt just banged out, getting seen to my Navalis. It just make them know that they can't, that it's not an easy ride. Yeah, tuck, yeah. Your, tuck your top away, you know what I'm saying, when you're coming down the aisle. But mm. not, 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 if, if one of my boys did it personally, I'd have a go at them. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, because it's not, they're, they're not there for that old age, you know what I'm saying? No. But. So as we were Russia now, you must have seen it then. What was Because uh, uh, yeah. I, I know I was away when I was. Yeah, no, nah, so speaking. like to me it was just like, I heard that, from what I heard, yeah, from lads I know, I heard that when it was happening like firm on firm, like on the side of they weren't coming out as on top. You no. know what I'm saying? But obviously fucking, you know it's going to happen with with, 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 with them tickets. They're, they're organising like, just like with a lot of these foreign teams as well, they try and they try and call it on late on when England fans are pissed up or, or European fans are pissed up. Like, and they just, it, it, it's, it's just a recurring, recurring occurrence. But, I think personally, still, in, in, even though England, like on a probably on a side street, you, if I was saying this the other day, if I was going to face one of those Russian teams, I wouldn't be going onto like a side street or open play. I'd be I'd be plotting off at a boozer, or like tooled up like stalls, police bands, or whatever. Fuck, the first thing I'd do if I was over in France to get a tool, mm. plot up with a tool, fucking, and, and then you just got to use. England fans are good at fighting outside boozers. They're fucking or a pub fighting country. So you gotta to stick to what you know. Yeah. If you come up on a side alley with fucking twenty Russians that are fucking training their major, what's yeah, going on? But they was organised as well. Yeah. They they was like going in yeah. like sort of trains. Yeah, and they yeah. were like very so, like so. So they fight. So they fight in forest and that all the time. But like you just gotta stick. They just get a load of bar stools, thing and just have it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like fucking with them Russians, like, I, just, I looked at you and I just thought, mate, it's a bit of a liberty what they're doing. Like, mm. they, liberty on the fact that they're just normal fans. Like, I, I would for me, I, I just looked at. It, I, I would have loved to have been out there with like fifty good lads. Yeah, like maybe a little mixed firm of bods. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But well, it was one bit if you did say when uh, they got a bit chased off when the Wales yeah. fans and England yeah. fans, you see yeah. that bit yeah, when they yeah, sort of come that, together yeah. and yeah. they sort of half pushed them back. But like, I don't know, man. It's it's just. It's just an easy nicking. It's an easy nicking for the old boy, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Fucking yeah. easy. It's easy for the for the for the feds to get a fucking for a draw up. Like people get pissed up. They don't wear their mask or whatever. Well, nowadays, it fucking yeah. if it really goes back, it wasn't even masked up. So yeah. it'd be a bit harder. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, it's just an easy nicking, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? It's fucking. Yeah. But yeah, no, de- definitely the foreign the foreigners are definitely training a lot more. Yeah, and, especially the Russians, isn't it? especially the Russians. Man. Yeah. See, that, see that line, isn't it? They're all yeah, fucking with. Mate, do you know what it is? Like fucking, you can't beat like English, English, English spirit fighting spirit. No, like, Mike Tyson's in the podcast, yeah, didn't he? He yeah, said they're English. He goes, they're yeah, fucking fighters, yeah. bro. He said it. You know, I posted yeah. it as well. Mike, you just got to use, you just got to use your loaf of bread, innit? it. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? When you're when you're having it with these buds, you know, I, I still think of football. They get like you can put some football buds. I've met football buds who cannot have a rat to save their life. Mm. But in a, in, in, they've got the hearts of lions. You know what I mean? There's a geezer called Chino who come over Spurs. He's about two foot high. Game as geezer you'll ever meet, do you yeah. know what I mean? Game as arseholes, like, got the heart of a lion, and that's what I think matters most at football. Yeah. Like
Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, fucking, it just, when the going gets tough and that, that's what you need, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah it's just, it's like, there's some small bods that, that are small, there's some small geezers at football that are like, you go, you come up against the northern sides and they've got some massive lumps, you've got no arsenal at all, you give them a clump and they fucking shit themselves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've got geezers who are fucking tiny, you knock them down 30 times and they keep getting back up. They're probably the worst people there to fight, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. So with the MMA career now then, so what, what, what's, what's, what's happening with MMA? What, what's your record now? <clears throat> so I'm 4-0 and as a pro MMA. I'm looking to fight for a, for a, a regional like UK title next, as soon as this corona stuff sort of calms down. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went 4-0. and My last fight I thought was in uh, Swindon and my mate Gary, Gary, um, Gary's show called, uh, my mate Gary's got a show called Raised. And I beat the geese after about what about two and a half minutes or so, I think it was. Yeah. Um, but that day, even that fight there, sort of like uh, everything went wrong that could have gone wrong that day. I had a massive Barney with the misses at home. Oh no. Yeah, in the daytime, and I think I had I, I exerted so much energy at home, fucking going mental at home, that I fucking got to the fight. I had no energy at all. Like fucking got the fight was like ten o'clock. I had a massive Barney of a uh, drove three hours up there or two and a half hours up there. Got up there. And uh, even like my walkout song, the walkout song was the wrong song. What, so, was, what was it? <laughs> I'll put, take me back to London with uh, Ed Sheeran and uh, JK, because my mate, I'm mates with JK. Yeah. And, uh, but I just put his bit, JK's bit, and it was like, um, he talks about being a hooligan on it. Yeah. And it's quite, it was quite fitting to the moment. And then it was like, take me back to London, because I'm in a different manner. I wanted them to take me back to London yeah. after. So I put it suited the thing, yeah. And I had to think the CD edited, and it fucking, the wrong song come on. And it was like, oh, it's too late now. We can't change it. We can't find it. So I had to come out to them, they just threw me off completely. Come out, had this big Eastern European geezer just growling at me on the other side. And I thought, I, I just got out of that. I thought, you know what? I'd rather be in my front room watching Match of the Day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what the fuck am I doing here today? I thought, I do not fancy this at all. I was just like, I was like, I don't want to be here. Yeah. I just looked around, I was in my some skimpy shorts. I thought, I don't even want to be here today. I thought, this, I can't, I can't, be, I can't be fucked. Literally, it's all I could think of. This is fucking long. Yeah. I thought, fuck, I could be thinking of a lot better. Well, I said, why don't I fucking play football instead or fucking, or take up music like the old man or something? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, and uh, yeah, so I come out and um, fuck, I didn't, so I, I was switched off for about a minute. I didn't do nothing. Like, the geezer took me down on the floor. He's on top of me. I was just, I was one of the races. Fucking, and then I just literally turned on after about a minute, a minute and a half, and I just fucking battered him. Like, and, but just, I didn't really train what train for the fight properly. Um, and uh, so I, was, I weren't fit. I obviously come out of jail, I was partying, weren't really fit, my head weren't really in it. But I took the fight because I wanted to get refocused and back into the gym again. And um, obviously, you know, the bit of doing a bit down the block and that, it sort of messed up my head a bit. So I was going out yeah, drinking, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, switched on after about a minute and a half, down him. But as I was doing him, as I was on top of him, Ralph ran out of a bit of a gas. So I was punching his head in and then fucking like, just off, I sort of ran, like, I wanted to properly hurt him, like, you know what I mean? I wanted to see a bit of blood and like, open him up a bit, do you know what I mean? And just make him suffer a little bit because he wore some Arsenal shorts. Oh! And but I just literally ran out of gas, but I finished him, yeah. but he was like, I, wouldn't, I, I could have I done him one more massive hit and I reckon he would have, like, and put up a big elbow, I reckon he would have been properly ironed up. Yeah. But yeah, he got, um, I got the win, got the knockout. And, um, yeah, man, but it's just one of them things. It's, I, 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 I like seeing a bit of claret when I'm fighting. So the next one, I definitely yeah. want to see a bit more. That's it. It's that's not it the same, done. is it? You know, like you're beating someone. It's not the same as you probably hurt. Them. I want to hurt. Them, <laughs> you know? I, mean, I don't. I don't just want to get a win. I want to hurt. Them, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to. I want to like see a big. You want to set the stage? I mean, set the presence, mate. Set yeah, the presence. Yeah, make people like just a bit of blood would be nice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? A bit of blood. <laughs> just. A, just so I get a bit of like satisfaction. In the MMA, if you could call yeah. someone out, who would it be? Like, who would you want to fight? Who, who you got your eye on? Mate, do you know what? I'll tell you a story, dude. My, my coach said, I'll get on to Kimbo Slice. My boxing coach, Don Charles, get on to Kimbo Slice and fucking. That would have been like Bellator or something like that, innit? Yeah, yeah, and it would have been a good fight because yeah. it, like, it would have been street fighting. Right? He ain't the best at MMA. So it would have been a good fight. Yeah. And would, um, you have stood with him? would you have stood with him? Would you have stood side with him? Yeah, but I probably would have just what, would have probably brought him. In. I like fighting against the cage. I probably would have got him against the cage. He's got a naughty bang on him, but I probably would have got him against the cage yeah. and just need the fuck out of him. Do you know what I mean? And but I think it would have been a good fight. I reckon I, I would have been a good good fight. Yeah. Win or lose, it would have been a good fight. Do you know what I mean? And um, anyway, I've called it on with him. Fucking gone on Twitter. I've gone fucking Kimbo. Da, 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 da. 
you're like just a bit of trash talking. Yeah, yeah. When the geezer's killed over, he's had a heart attack the same night. Fuck so it, the no. next morning, I woke up, people going, hey, that, that's out of order. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no. I remember to pull it all back, delete it, like, <laughs> delete, delete all the calls. I put it on like loads of different platforms, like Instagram, Twitter, whatever. So I was like, fucking hell. Like, and um, yeah, so I had to delete all that. So, but yeah. that, that probably would have been a good fight. But I don't know, calling out was. I don't know, for me, yeah, like with the MMA, I, I just want to, at the moment, my main concern right now is getting back in there, getting fit. And then I want to win, I want to win a title for my son because I want my son's got the pedigree to be able to do it all. He's yeah. big, strong, got a punch and like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. I reckon he's going to be dangerous, you know what I mean? If I don't get him into fighting, he's going to be naughty, so I want to get him into something that's going to keep him focused. So that would be advice as well, because I do like to ask people on the show, right, if you'd have advice to people that obviously, that, oh, I've got a similar boat that, that coming through. That you don't want them go to jail, you don't want them in that street life. What would you say to people about getting I think, I think for, me, for me, if I'd done MMA from younger, like, if I'd done the MMA from younger, I think for me it would have it would it would have given me the tools to be able to not wanting to go out and prove myself because like, now I go out to a bruiser, and um, I don't feel the need to just want to knock everyone out. Like I, before when I was younger, I thought like, oh fucking, people are gonna start. I always get people starting on me. Yeah. Yeah. When I throughout my whole life, whenever I used to go outside and learn how to fight, people starting on me all the time. Wherever I go. Wherever I do, people always try and pick a fight. Yeah. And um, I had to learn how to sort of defend myself to be able to, to, to protect myself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, and uh, I don't know why, I just must have one of them face. I think it's because I'm big, but I've also got a bit of a baby face. So I've got that face where sort of people... Well, I'm small and get baby face. I'll get it yeah, all the time. Yeah, but I really am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's like... But it's like... Yeah. It's one of them things. So if, like, when, now I go out and I'm like, even if someone's like staring at me, if it's, like, I was sitting there when I was younger, if you're staring at me, I'm going to fucking do that, cunt. I'm going to stick something in him or, 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 or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Now I just think to myself, oh, fuck, the geezer's a dickhead. Like, if he comes over and something happens, the moment he lays down, it's a different story. Yeah. But I've got nothing to prove anymore to no one, like, my, in myself. Like, but, like, before when I was young, I used to just think, but, like, the MMA sort of told me that it's, like, fucking attack as a safety mechanism. Like, before. That mm. was before my mentality. Now it's, like, my mentality is, like, you know what, I know what I can do. If this geezer wants to make the mistake of coming over here, then that's on his own peril, do you know what I mean? Like, that's down to him. But if he comes near me, I'm going to end him quickly. Do you know what I'm saying? I know, yeah. like, even if I ain't got my hands to be able to punch, I know I can take him down, I can kick him, whatever. I know yeah. I'm pretty confident no matter what happens, I'm going to do him. Would you say the MMA has given you a lot more confidence than in sort of, like, your ability? And I know, like, you yeah. know, in the streets and all that, you bang yeah. and all that, like, but I mean, an overall sort of MMA, if yeah. it was come up, you feel more yeah, confident. just confident, sort of... just more, more controlled as well. Yeah, control, like, my hand yeah. is more controlled and, do you know what I mean? Like, obviously... Yeah, just more control, more confident, more more confident. Really, like like I said before, like with my ability to be able to like sometimes you you attack out of self safety. Now I don't really need to. I'm like, you know, if it comes to it, I know I pretty much can handle whatever's coming at me. Obviously, I ain't bulletproof. Mm. Like no one's bulletproof, no, really, but, no, really. but fucking, but you know what I'm saying. Like most situations, if it comes down to it, like moment anyone mm. lays my hands on me, I'm confident. And that MMA's giving me that ability. Do you know what I'm saying? Has it humbled you? Mate, MMA did on me because I was going down into the gym to get weighed in by seven year olds. Yeah. Like, I, I thought I could fight before I went down there. I'd knock bare people out on the, on the roads, like untold buds, on straighteners or whatever, outside boozers or whatever, doing whatever. And I thought I was fucking, couldn't be done. Like, I'd gone down there and I was like, actually, you know what, you can't actually fight. Do you know what I mean? I said, it's different. It's tour, different yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's different. Yeah. Like, I tore it away. Like, even sort of now, sort of like, still now I go in there and it's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the best, the best fighter by any means, but like, flipping. It's, it's still humbling. You go down some places, and like, I remember yeah. I used to go to a gym in South called South Foxy, and they got loads of uh, amateur boxers there. And it's a good amateur boxing gym, to be fair. Really good, good people down there. And um, and uh, yeah, and I used to go down. I used to have a few sparring, sparring matches, and you get like some geezer, like skinny fella, and he's like ping you up, bro, and you know about it, like you know what I'm saying. You're getting your head rocked, and I'm yeah. like, fuck, you know, this is. This is, no, this, this is yeah. what I'm going through in a yeah. minute. I thought, yeah, yeah inside, I have yeah. a small bit of training yeah. with these pros, training yeah. these boxers, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, getting yeah. Like, yeah, mate. you're getting yeah. getting schooled, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. No, it's it yeah. is humbling. It's like it is. taking you back to school. <clears> but I think all that humbling process is part of making you build you up as a character, yeah. do you know what I mean? Build you up your your ability to be able to, to overlook things in other walks of life, do you yeah. know what I mean? So that, that, that's my whole point why I do this sort of podcast is to get yeah. a message through that people have been through it, yeah. I've been through it, you've been through it and that's why I'm glad you've come on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and there is a lot of people watching me at the minute that are sort of going through it because they're yeah. interested in that. So yeah. what, you know what I mean? So, what, you, so what, you, what would you say to them, bro? And I say, I oh, know it's a deep one in that, yeah. here, but what would you say to them? Like someone who, because people are going to watch and they're going to relate to you, bro. Yeah, yeah, the things yeah. that you said, you've opened up, they're going to be watching. So what yeah. would you say to them about 
you know, to avoid doing that blocking jab, to avoid sort of getting emotionally sort of fucked yeah, or getting in sticky like, situations. Do you know what I mean? I just think to myself, sometimes you just got to find a, find, find a positive outlet, do you know what I mean? Like, and just stick to my positive outlets in my mate. And I find when I don't do that, that fucking things sort of go down a, a, a different path. Like, I can yeah. go, on a, go on a session and have a drink or whatever, and I just, then things can spiral out of control. I find, like, if I've got a bit of structure... Yeah. Like then you then then that's the best. That's when I'm at my best. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if, if I if I keep to that structure and train and do whatever, then everything sort of else falls into place. And I find when I was in a, in a, in a, in in a shovel in jail, that was the best thing that kept me insane and kept me. Thing was the gym, the training, the eating. I used to revolve my whole day around fucking making a meal. Mm. So cooking up a meal in the microwave with the boys morning and evening, and then training. That was the routine of our day. Do you know what I mean? And like fucking, if that 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 was sort of, it just needs structure, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you need something that's gonna keep you focused in a way, like in, and that's that, and that, that's that's what probably most people I think. But then it's easier said than done. Little things can throw you off. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like in, I don't know, like I'm, I, with, with my training and that, like Christmas, Christmas, it's an excuse to throw you off, innit? Yeah. You just need to just keep focused. Do you know what I'm saying? Stay focused, man. Definitely. Yeah. So what's that? What's for wrap up? And what's the future holding for Dante now? I'm into the. I've just got into this uh, American bully business. So I'm yeah. selling. I'm selling American bully XLs. I've got a business called Trojan Bullies UK. Trojan Bully Kennels UK. We we'll get the link. We we'll put the link yeah. up for that now. Yeah, and um, and obviously yeah, I've it. I sell those now, and um, and just an MMA title fights coming up soon. Yeah. Keep your eyes out for that. Do you know what I mean? Now, people, how can people follow your journey? What you are, what kind of follow we put your platforms um, up? Yeah, my my name on Instagram is Don D O N T Z underscore ten, and um, link. A ten, yeah, and uh, underscore ten, and then uh, yeah, I'm on. That's, that's probably the main platform to follow me on. Instagram, yeah. Is Instagram, yeah. I'm on Twitter as well, but I don't really use it that much. I haven't really not got after, my, Not I, after we came by last yeah, one. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, uh, I haven't really got my nod around the Twitter thing. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's just basically, that's probably the best way to follow like, my up and coming fights and and whatnot, and, um, and keep in touch. Yeah, so this year, that's, that, that's it, really. Don's an absolute legend, man. Thank you for coming. Awesome, there, man. Sweet, my brother. Sweet, mate. Sweet.